Hmm. That's neat. I mean, only works against undead, though. That's kind of a big issue. Yeah. Yeah. We are live! We are live. And we've got the audio output muted right now, because last time, this stupid main menu music um, got my stream copyright claimed. So, thanks for that, London Symphony. Continuing on. Now we can unmute. Uh, yeah, it might not happen. Yay, we're back to it. All right. Uh, we're actually gonna visit Rosaria soon because I didn't make this character buff enough. He's a bit of a string bean as far as strength characters go. Also, why am I at zero souls? Oh, because I was invading. Okay. We're gonna go to the Cathedral of the Deep. I'm not doing any more invading until I increase my damage output a good amount because I just don't do enough damage for how slow I swing. You know what I mean? Uh, I can definitely see that. I don't like early game PvP anyway. Yeah. Alright. At least I got some good rings. I'm not fighting Hodrick, because it's a lot of work and risk for barely any reward. <laughs> do it! Oh, I'm, I've been invaded. What do you know? I'm just gonna be up here and see if he finds me. Wish I had more Undead Hunter charms. I will. A whale? I whale. Oh, hey, yo, fascisto. How are ya? What's up, fascisto? He better show himself soon, otherwise I'm gonna get too bored to wait for him. I I, I don't think I have enough int to learn oh, from this guy right now. Well. Oh, I do. Okay, I thought I needed 11. Probably just like 9 or something. So, what's up? It's all dandy. Goody. Last MC vid was awesome. Oh yeah? Cool, thank you. I liked it a lot too. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, there were a few things uh, going on in the background that were blinking you miss it events. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, hey there, pal. Ow! Uh, the last oh. video has been the fifth one in the series. Why is he having a freaking Estus? Okay. See you later, man. Uh... Is anyone able to hear me on stream? Yeah, I can hear you. Here, well, he should be able to hear you. Okay, I just can't. Oh. Gabriel's house was mind-blowing. When the reveal was about to happen, I was expecting it to be a joke. Just the cobblestone dirt cube. <laughs> well, thank you. I tried very hard on it. Uh, we haven't really played since uh, the release of, of the fifth one, so I haven't really made any progress on it since. But... Uh, we are still going to continue going, so I will. I was thinking I made the roof look kind of funky, but I think it turned out okay. Oh, 
Oh! Oh, he's dead. It was kind of pathetic that I couldn't get any of those uh, parries, but he was... He was waiting for me, I guess. Oh, well. I like a host of Hermitcraft. Oh, now amazing. that is... Now a that is a really compliment. Nice, nice. Avery watches a lot of Hermitcraft. Oh, I just got a friend request from the Blue Spirit. Which, uh, do you watch Hermitcraft? And if you do, which, uh... Dang, I do a lot of damage! <laughs> Holy crap! Ho <laughs> Um, which one of you? It's this one. Yep. Uh, Marcus's house was very charming too. It was like something I would do if, it was if I was remotely competent. I love if I was dude. remotely competent. Oh, okay. Wait. So who is Green and Scar? I like Scar a lot. Um. Uh, and I've watched some of Grian's like uh, building tutorials. Hold up, like I that. might be I might be getting some hate mail here. But the the one I, I typically am, watch is Mumbo I'll Jumbo. I'll be very excited to hear this. It's been a long time since I received Dark Souls Three hate mail, and this will be a very, very enjoyable yeah. experience. Um, what? He's Maybe they'll say, not Are you online. The real Chief Palupa? Uh. You there? Oop. We used to play on PS4 back in the day, and back then, you didn't need to friend people to send messages to them. So, after a duel, you could be like, Oh, you bastard, how dare you point down! But, uh, on Steam, you can't do that, which is sad. I don't know... How I just got this, um, whatever. If if he's not gonna respond, then I'll probably just remove him as a friend. But that invader should be should feel happy that I, um, for that invasion because I stood at the fog wall, um, and I didn't go in and send him home because I wanted to fight him. I gave him a chance. I could have just went in, faced the boss, and banished him, you know? Right. People Shit. should talk in Pokemon Showdown. Dude, videos. I can't really move forward with my, uh, blacksmithing. Yeah. Oh, why not? Uh, we have to be level 30 so I can go to the Rocky Highlands. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the hate mail in Dark Souls 3 PvP was so rampant back in the day, but it was awesome in that sense. It really was. What is Pokemon Showdown? I don't know. I was into Pokemon when I was uh, probably 10 or 11. I haven't really touched it since though. I'm proud to say that I've never once lost a match Pokemon Showdown. And I use Pokemons I like instead of the meta ones. I liked so instead of the meta ones, so I'm not selling. Nice. Reject the meta. Cool. I Return to fun. Assume it's just regular Pokemon battling. Gaming. Pokemon. Go down. Uh. Hmm. I'm sure there's a free online website we could find. Oh, that sounds cool. I like the sound of that. It does sound like it would attract uh, the meadow crowd a lot, though. In that sense, it sounds pretty awful. Ugh. 
I hate meadows too, I always try to avoid them. I only played once, that's why I never lost. Oh! <laughs> there you go. Always leave him wanting more. What's that comedian thing? Exiting on a high note or whatever. Yeah. It's that thing that George Costanza did when he realized that he should leave the room whenever he told a good joke. Otherwise, he'd ruin it. Do you remember that episode? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yep, I do. There's over a thousand Pokemon out there. People are bound to get creative and make their own teams. Oh, there's what? There's over a thousand. That's I don't know why, but that sounds hard to believe. But I guess it makes sense. Makes sense to me. I don't know. Let's see. A thousand is How a many Pokemon are there in 2024? 1,025. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about then. on screen. <laughs> no, sing for us, bro. We all want to hear it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Also, Pokemon has a bunch of different competitive divisions. You can choose which generation you will play. Hmm. I did not know that. Step out of line, they can take you away. So how are you doing today, Feshi still? As it's as if TF2 had a bottom tier sixes league where you could only play and use only use bottom tier weapons. That sounds sucky. So everyone is forced to use the worst weapon in their arsenal. How fun. You can use the scatter gun then, Marcus. Oh yeah, that's totally the worst weapon. Totally. Hmm. I really gotta get to work on learning sword You know what a weapon I've soon. always hated? Uh, just because it's so niche and awful. But the enforcer. Uh yeah. It's not very good, sadly, because it, you know, is pointless, and they, sh it would, a nerf, a buff would help it immensely. Yeah, sorry, Fashisto, I just don't know much about Pokemon, man. Uh, I think I stopped doing anything with Pokemon around, like, Gen 3. Yeah, you can... We just had Pokemon Blue on uh, Game Boy, <laughs> Game Boy, Game Boy, and that is it. That's literally it. That's and then the I had Pokemon a bunch of Pokemon, Pokemon cards, but I got more into Yu-Gi-Oh than I did Pokemon. Ow! Ow! I always tried to get Mark to play Yu-Gi-Oh with me, but he wouldn't do it. Yeah, we've gone over this. My attention span no, has never haven't. been. Fantastic. I dare you, the Enforcer is great. I don't agree with you. Oh. <laughs> I 
It's a shitty rainbow. Also got in Yu-Gi-Oh and two. You got into Yu-Gi-Oh two a couple of years back. Oh yeah. I had a full. Um... Oh, what was his name? Marcus, what's that legendary's name that um, that took five cards to assemble? Exodia. I don't know if he's a legendary. Though. Exodia. A legendary? I had a full Exodia in my deck. Yeah, he's probably a legendary. I don't know. All Damn. I know is that if you assemble him completely, you win. Yeah. I mean, everyone knows that. But it's pretty. pretty cool. Here you go, Avery. What am I hearing? Did you just leave Discord for a Hello? moment? Hello? No, I heard that too. I wonder if someone else went into our Discord. Oh. I don't know. I'm gonna open the shortcut John. and then I'm gonna use the bathroom because I really need to. It's unfortunate that I didn't realize that before I started the stream. And I am a tossed. I am an autistic nomad. I had a zombie type deck? Oh, okay. Zombie type? I, I, for a it moment be, there, I thought you guys were talking about with, Pokemon uh, again. And I was like, they, there's so many cards that can respawn them. Which is pretty cool. Pull it back out of the graveyard and whatever. Yeah, I, I'd say mine was probably more dragon type. I thought um, you guys were. I had were... a lot of. Uh, Oh, what were those guys called now? Oh, I can't remember. They're like some kind of knight or something like that. Hmm? I don't remember what they're called. With my monster, monsters in the lovely world that was focused on synchro summoning. Yeah, when you when you said zombie type, I thought you guys were still talking about Pokemon. I'm like, what? That's an interesting new type. And it actually brought me back to the days of yeah, that's where you dig Pokemon up your creepypastas. Force her into a Pokeball. Like Pokemon Black. Or what was it? Pokemon Pitch Black? Creepy Black? Something like that? Remember that? With the ghost Pokemon? That was the first Pokemon? That was a cool one. Never been one for creepypastas. I think it was Creepy Black. No, doesn't sound right. I don't know. Uh, with Mayakashi monsters and Zombie World, it was focused on synchro summoning. Right. Had the actual. What the heck is synchro summoning? Dual charm. I knew that was there. Why am I surprised? Oh. I gotta use the bathroom. You should have equipped that. Oh wait, not with that that sword, I suppose. Equip? What? You just get the um Oh wait, no, that's the Fair and Talisman I'm thinking of. Oh. Yeah, I have that. The Fair and Ring, the one What'd that... you just pick up? It was a dual charm. It it's used to dispel buffs from enemies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bring myself to Firelink, but while I'm gone, I'm gonna use the bathroom. See, now those are okay in PvP, but the other You're stuff okay is You're okay with the cheap. dual charm, but not Lloyd's talisman. The yeah, dual that... charm is cheap as hell. Which would you? Okay, which would you rather? Which would you rather get taken away from you? Your ability to buff yourself? Or your ability to actually heal yourself. Fair enough, I guess, but like, I don't know. Like, it's, it's one of them is the, going to this... end in your death, and one of them is just going to reduce your damage. It's it's always been known that only the sweatiest of of PvPers pack dual charms, because no one likes it. <laughs> okay, I will be back. I'm not well, going no, to No, it's annoying, take one. but it's still better than the other one. Okay. I I swear, I'll be back soon. Don't leave.
Why am I hearing steam? Oh, that must be Marcus's. Uh, I had an idea for a series you guys could make on Minecraft. What's that? Try to survive 100 days in Minecraft Beta 1.3 whilst only having three lives. I know very, very little about 1.3, um, but we definitely could. Like 100 in game days? Beds weren't added, and you couldn't skip the night. You had to live through it. Oh. Huh. I didn't know that. I thought beds were kind of a thing off the bat. weren't a thing off the bats. I rue the day beds were added. Most overpowered item in the game. Just killed dancers just afterward. Oh, hi, Sans the Skeleton. Yeah, no, uh, that's uh, the most fun way to go at it. Uh, gets you a lot of souls for your character right off the bat. Have you uh, been to stream before, Sans? And also, Fascisto, that might be something fun to, uh, for us to try. by I know hit it. Um, have you seen the Batman, the movie? I haven't seen it yet. Uh, the new one? 
Uh, I haven't seen the new one. I think the last one I saw was with Christian Bale. Oh, you know hit run like you didn't get hit. That's cool. I, uh, um, I haven't played Dark Souls 3 in a long time. Which, uh, which Dark Souls game is your favorite? New one with Edward Cullen as Bat yet. No, I haven't seen him. He, you know, he actually looks like he'd make a pretty good Bruce Wayne, but except for the whole British thing. Uh, Bloodborne? Uh, I like Bloodborne. The problem with Bloodborne is I... I love making interesting characters, and Bloodborne doesn't lend itself well for replayability and for making different builds and stuff like that. Um, I really liked it the first time I was playing it, but it's just really hard to play again. <laughs> Edward Cullen. Why is this not working? It's not defined. Uh, by the way, my Yu-Gi-Oh deck was a Mayakashi and Shinara zombie deck. It was whole Japanese yokai. I am back. Oh, that's pretty cool. Japanese, uh, Japanese yokai are uh, oh, hello uh, there, pretty Sam's cool the skeleton. Like, concept, and usually they look pretty sweet. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you Want a tip for dancer? Sure. for this. Hello! Oh, wait, I gotta take off the back and break thing. Hmm. There. Oh, man. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Avery? Yeah, I'm here. I thought you were talking to them. Oh! oh Give me an update. What are you guys talking about? Uh, well, Sans was talking about how he just fought the dancer after Vort, and he said he did it no hit. Oh, nice. I did that, uh, earlier then, uh, in this run. I, uh, Fascista I... was talking about the most recent, uh, Batman movie. Oh. Yeah, I, I killed, uh, Dancer earlier in this run. I didn't, I didn't no hit it, but I did it. Um... Uh, when you're going to enter fog wall, walk slowly at middle till prompt enter fog wall, just starting to appear and then entering mash circle. Ah, uh, hey, here we go. Hello. Oh, you're the sword noob. Uh. What do you want, lucky bastard? <laughs> Bro, Ukraine American. Yeah, maybe I won't show this. What is he, a freaking Russian or something? Getting a little mm. political. Sword noob. It will glitch the boss where it will stay still where you can snipe it to death. No kidding. I, I didn't know that. Stayed. That's interesting. That's the fog wall. Ugh. So we could fight. Could have just Random banished dangerous. you. There we go, that should fix it. I ain't no noob though. Chat. Noob. Never spelled noob like that before. What do you just say? 
I don't know, he's still typing, I guess. Watch zero Lenny. Oh, okay. Just, okay, just one point. Let's go. Zero Lenny. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be giving this guy time on stream. What do you think, bro? Yeah, just, just kick him from your friends list, I mean. Yeah, I know what he's saying. Uh, the, I'm using the worst heavy sword in the game, just so you know. It's f fun. You are one of those Steam 100% useless players. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Just type this in still be you. The good old DS3 hate mail. I missed. What a good time. That's how you found out, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of Zero Lenny before. Some on me. Nah. Please show me streaming. Don't tell him you're streaming. Why? I don't care. Because then he's gonna show up to the stream. He doesn't even know how to do that. Why? He Googles you, and that's all he needs. They don't freaking kick him, I don't care. Just tell him oh, I sent my regards. Yeah. <laughs> Fashion still says I'm. Uh, what a dummy! Of the who have no place to call Hi. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire Manage. Please show me, slut. What the hell? Slut. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, what a freaking retard. Ugh. Why is it not counting? Let me, let's try it. Is it one? Oh, I, I like that my face cam is Just blocking. Just friend requested you again? That's nice. No. For some reason, Steam is showing oh, me still text you? every message that he had texted. Ah! Oh. It's been a while since I got some good PvP hate mail. Uh, maybe a little later. So, uh, Fascisto, did you notice anything in the, uh, in the background of my newest video? Because I inserted some stuff in there to go along with the, um, creepy atmosphere that I had going on. God damn it. Oh, it's because it doesn't see it. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm coding right now. No, not butthead. Um. Um. Well. Uh. In two separate sec. Uh. Parts of the video, Hero Brian actually shows up in the background. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, he says. I'm surprised that. you didn't notice. Oh yes, I did. Yeah. No, he says right there. What the? Yeah. I'm gonna friggin' parry you. Oh, that was embarrassing. Okay. Ah. Oh man. What am I so off right now? 
Dang, you're slow, big guy. Wait, what? No. Wah! <laughs> uh, I really remember having... I saw him. <laughs> well, you're right. He shows up for only what? about three frames each time. Both times. What do you mean, or? Hairbrine or Ben Drowned. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh. Uh, Windows Control T. There we go. Which do you like more? Oh, definitely Ben. Back in the day, man, with uh, those videos that, uh, well made videos that Jadusable made. Oh, just. It really creeped the hell out of me when I was a kid. Ooh. How the hell do you know his name? Because it's memorable. I should take this cap off. No, it's because you're freaking weird. Like, you remember the weirdest stuff. I heard that, don't worry. Um, I guess I do, but like... Jadusable is a pretty freaking uh, unique name, I'd say. What leader engine is your car? What? It's your car. You should be able to tell me what kind of engine's in it. I don't know, six liter. Uh -oh. Six liter? Holy I don't shit. know what that's a hell of an engine in there. <laughs> I don't know how that works, man. I don't give a single crap about cars. It's a 2.4 liter V4. Ah, <laughs> six. <laughs> no, stupid. This isn't a player, by the way. You know how this big your engine bay would be for a six liter? I don't even know what that means. There we go. It's the amount of gasoline that's it's on top of the pistons. Okay. Ow. Should've waited. It's good that I've got people like you who care about cars in my life. So that you can worry about it. You don't know anything about cars? Yeah. You know, I really didn't either uh, until there. I started working on lawnmowers. And then I learned a lot about engines. And then I started flipping cars. And, uh, and, like yesterday, I just literally finished putting the engine in my uh, truck that I'm going to sell. I'm glad someone uh, wasn't here who could laugh about, uh, laugh at me about it then. <laughs> if you also don't know anything. One sec. I'd be willing to bet that that guy probably put a comment on my on my Steam profile, and I want to see it. We can't see it. Well, I don't want to show you guys. Just in case. Here, I can check. Right. Here, wait. Let's see here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys. What he says? I knew he would do something. New, no, but use the worst weapon of the game and lucky gank me next time. Oh, that's hilarious. It's very funny. Just click the garbage can there. Even even when I gave him a chance by not banishing him. Whatever, man. See you later. Thanks for the entertainment, though. That was fun. <sighs> I only turned 21 last week. Oh, okay. I'm turning 25 this July. Oh, really? I'm turning 26. Wah. Yeah, we'll do Rosaria first. Okay. Uh, 
rent in I think he said, oh, really, because I said your comment out loud. He, he knows how... He knows my birthday. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I was I was speaking about you fast she still I was like, oh really 21? Eh. I gotta practice parries. Hey, he can drink. I don't think Fashisto drinks. Or well it plans to at least. Uh, he doesn't drink. Vine. No. He does not. You'll be happy to know my auto fisher still works. I'm happy to know that. go since I can't uh, um, since I can't work Ooh. on my blacksmithing anymore I figured I'd uh, start working on my uh, fishing and instead of trying to focus on it to set the auto fisher up to work and fishing up some fish nice not I think after the Fred wine tonight, two or three times in my life, I don't like that alcohol. Always tastes bad to me. Oh, I agree entirely. I think after the um, stream tonight, Marcus is the same way. Um, I think after the stream uh, tonight, I'm gonna yeah, no, I, um, I, I work like on my house alcohol, but it has to be a certain type. Avery is constantly talking when I'm talking because we're desynced, and I apologize about it. If you stream on Discord, we won't be. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I I like alcohol. Um, I never get drunk or anything. But, uh, there, there's only... There's... I'm very picky on what kind I like. When it comes to hard liquor, I don't really like gin. Gin's too, uh, gross. Ow. It's just not... It's got that really heavy alcohol taste. Um, but I'm a big fan of spiced rum and Smirnoff. <laughs> um, and what game am I playing? I'm playing World of Warcraft. He's playing World of Warcraft Classic, the best version of World of Warcraft. Ow. Maybe the, uh, beer, maybe the my... beer in my country just tastes like, like horse, horse piss. piss. Beer can differ. We've got a well, lot it's... of different alcohol types here. We got imported stuff from all over the world. Beer and alcohol is a huge thing here. I like vodka and stuff too. Uh, it has to be like mixed right. I just, I find that like Admiral Nelson's is one of my favorites. It's just like a really, really good taste. And it's got very, what I would describe as like a warm taste to it. A worm taste, you said? The taste of worm? Yeah, worm taste. Do you like the taste of worms? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna recustomize a little bit and make ourselves a bit bigger so that we look strong. Benton. Dude, you know what's funny about that is I watched Pen Ben 10 when I was little, but now my sister and her fiancé are watching the series again. Oh, really? That's neat. Yeah, they are. You know, it's always bothered me how the Rosaria's Fingers uh, Covenant doesn't do anything when you equip it. feels like it should do something to make invading easier. Mm. Yeah, I watched Ben 10 as a kid. I haven't seen it in a long time 
freaking long. What is the grown-up Ben 10's Omnitrix called again, where he's got one on both wrists, and then he pushes them together to, like, combine two monsters? I don't even know what you're talking about. The, the adult Ben 10 has two wrists, uh, or wristwatches that he, like, crosses his arms, and he's able to combine two monsters. Hmm. Biotrix, I think? Oh, okay. Uh, as far as forms, I always like the giant one. Um, and then that, like, electric one, I can't remember his name. He's talking about Ben 10,000. Whoa! That's a lot! Yes, yep. I've never seen it, but I just saw a clip about it the other day. He basically chooses the attributes that he likes in two different monsters, and then combines them. I thought you were gonna wait with invading. I know, but it's fun! <laughs> I'm just headed over to the boss right now. You know what, I, um, I set up my script so that it randomizes uh, uh, integers, that it uh, right-clicks the bobber, so that um, it, it's not immediate every time, so that it could be picked up by a botting service. Uh, it's got between 0 and 3 seconds to get the bobber, uh -huh. so that it gives me a chance of missing, which will also make it harder to pick, be picked up. Oh, very intelligent. I hear he's got some coding knowledge. He's looking to expand it as well. Oh! Am I right, bro? Turn it. Uh, I was thinking of making, or going back to Godot and seeing what I can make with it. Oh, yeah? I have this idea for a uh, weight loss app um, that I've been wanting to try for a while and. I saw a video the other day by some guy reviewing Godot, and it kind of made me want to go back to it. Hmm. Neat. Yeah, I'll get horse. Green needle. Buzz. What? Buzz shock, amphibi, brainstorm. <laughs> oh, I get it. That's funny. Come on, Horace. Just you. We're not taking Henry. I don't think he can, uh, uh, oh, I can get serious for this? I didn't know that. I don't think he can answer that, Feshisto, because we don't remember much about that show, frankly. I remember he had... Yeah, it, dude, it was like when I was like eight he, or nine years old. He had some cards, which had sumo wrestlers on them for some reason, and his cousin was annoying, and his uncle, grandpa, was old. Ben. And, no, I don't think his name was Ben. <laughs> it's not Spider-Man. Wasn't it? I don't think so. Wasn't it Grandpa Ben? I'm sure Fast if still will tell know. Us. What, what was his grandpa's name? Well, his uncle Grandpa was... Oh, I can... <laughs> Dude, my fishing's up to level 30. Nice job, bro. Good work. It's all me, man. All Grandpa me. Max. Max. Oh, okay. Who voices him again? Uh, he... I can't recall, but he's in so many things. Even Metal Gear Solid. I recognized him immediately the moment I started playing MGS2 for the first time.
Grandpa Max voice actor. Oh, 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 oh. This is a good boss, isn't it? Paul Iding. Was he in? It says he was in Shrek. Was he? When wasn't that annoying? Ben was the one that annoyed her. I, you are probably entirely right. I can't, I can't recall. <laughs> All right, let's go to ah, shit. the catacombs of Carthus. Phone's going haywire. Hey, guess what, Fashy? Still, you're not going to care at all, but I have officially lost 20 pounds today. Impressive stuff. I'm proud of you, bro. You do good. You do well. Donk. Donk. You do well. Mm -hmm. You do well. Ben was the nerdy one, and Ben was the weird type of job. In one day? No, it's as of <laughs> today, I've lost 20 pounds. I lost 20 pounds today! I just sliced them right off my body. A la Saw 5. I think it's... Yeah. Yeah. Wait, no. Six. Hmm. <laughs> I can't remember if it's five or six for the guy uh, literally Thank you. cuts. And it's purely just from uh, cutting out sugar. I just don't eat bread anymore, and I don't eat any uh, any sugary stuff. Like, I, I avoid it down to the gram. Yeah, it's impressive. Oh man, I gotta work on these parries. I'm just so used to bare handed Cestus parries. No! Yes! I got it. I gotta start focusing. Of course, John DiMaggio is in Ben 10. Oh, he is? As who? Forearms? Yep. Really? I called it. Uh, Baron High something. Huh? I hate how Google won't tell you the full thing unless you click on it, and then you have to, like, search for it inside. Oh, come on! Way too... Way too early. <laughs> jock. Uh, what would you yeah. Americans call a jock that is bad at sports? I'm trying to figure out what to label Ben. Um, uh, I don't know. Sports nerd. Or, no, no, that's the other way us. around. That's a sports guy who's not athletic. <laughs> um... Yeah, that er totally, yeah, we're, we're jobs. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> no, I just meant that we we suck at sports. Ben is not a nerd, Gwen is the nerd. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't or, I mean, I, you're like that. definitely right. I don't know shit about it. But. I did it again. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I got to focus up. It was Was Ben 10 ultimate any good? Fighting I, the I dancer. I seem to remember that being Good. Find the dancer focused me last time. I need to do that this time. Woo! Besides a slacker. That sounds appropriate. Hey, one thing that's kind of neat about the Dark Souls games is, um... You don't like it? I just remember, um... I just remember seeing it on TV and preferring it over watching like Victorious or shit like that. Yeah. Anyway, one thing that's uh, cool about Dark Souls games is if you're falling to your death, like you fell off a cliff, if you manage to quit the game before um, before you die, then when you uh, re-enter the game, you'll be back up on the ledge again. You just have to be fast, really fast. Darn it! I don't have the timing down yet, but I'll get it, I swear.
Oh, always scares me. What? There's in other games too, no? I, Whenever I I'm don't, uh, can't think auto of another fishing game that and does a that. another player walks around. Oh, I bet. Maybe you ought to just take I, control. I like and stop that and move around then. I can't think of another game that has that sort of thing where if you quit out, it'll save you. It's not that it saves. It's just that the game wants to put you in the last spot you were standing. Yep. Uh, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien was badly animated and I didn't like the Ultimate Alien gimmick. It felt so much like Buy These Toys gimmick. It was basically shouting that. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't know. I was like, 8. And, uh... And I don't remember much about it. All I remember really is that, uh... I think it was Gwen's boyfriend or something like that. The guy who could touch a material and turn into it. I always liked that, uh, that power. I don't... I don't think they were a couple. That's Kevin11. Weren't they? Kevin11? Kevin11, yep. Why was he called that? I, I can't being remember. a child convinced my mom to buy a knockoff Ultimate Swamp Fire. Oh. It came from the original series when he was an enemy to Ben. I don't... I don't even know how he stopped being an enemy or anything like that. There's a villain named Vilgax at some point. <laughs> I really didn't see that show very often. It was alright when I did see it though. One's boyfriend is literally Kevin Eleven from the original show. That's what oh, I thought. Oh, so, okay. They are. Never mind then. Why was he called Kevin Eleven? Was there like eleven different materials he could turn into? And also, where did he get his ability? Please explain the entire. Wait, when had abilities too, didn't she? She had like gravitation control yeah. or something. She was she's not even human, believe it or not. She's an alien race. Gwen's not human. Yes. Really? She I she he'll tell you. He'll tell you. <laughs> She's literally m made of pure mana, from what I remember. Uh, he was called Kevin Eleven because he had the same powers as Ben. He was basically evil Ben because he had child touched and absorbed the Omni trick. Oh, that's cool. Darn it! Um. Yeah, I guess I'd have to see the show again. So. Was oh, his Omni Tricks way, different way to long. where he wasn't able to transform? There. He just like was able to alter himself. Wake up! I gotta see if we forced him because I know I think it sounds familiar. Oh, that's cool. He was Kevin Eleven because he had all of Ben's ten alien powers, and he had his own powers, hence Eleven. There we go. I'm getting it. Get I guess I of it. don't remember him ever transforming. It's because he was in the form of a mutated alien most of the time. You barely got to see his normal form. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. His real name is Kevin Levin? Really? That's funny. It's me, Levin. Levin Kevin Eleven. He was also in Kick Patowski, the guy who voices Kevin Levin. 
I don't know. Does that does that show have a following or something? Because I hated that show as a kid. I hated that show. Just like how is Kick. this? Kick. Kick. How is this character Kortowski. our main character? How? I like the sharp art style of uh, the early 2000s. Yeah, me too. Like, um, like Invader Zim. I don't. I don't think I ever once saw this show, but I like the art style. Is very uh, nostalgic. Uh, Lunatics Unleashed. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty bad show. Uh, Fascisto is explaining. I don't uh, think I Kevin ever saw Eleven it. right now. If you want to see that. Oh. Um, let's see, he could not absorb materials at the time, only Ben's aliens. He could transform without a watch or anything, but the lack of the watch made his transformations go haywire. Oh, okay. So he became a hybrid monster of all of Ben's aliens. Oh. I'm gonna Google what he looks like. Now. I know, I know his human form. Why was he evil? Ow. He wanted to be a dick. Damn oh, it! Yeah. How I dare totally you cue up my roll? Forty-year-old man. <laughs> well, he didn't exactly have the voice of a kid in uh, our version. For some reason, right Kick Batelski is my country. Had the most support. It it had he had an extremely unfitting voice. Maybe he would have been a little more endearing if he actually sounded like a kid. But it felt Dope. like... I don't know. He felt like a side character that was given his own show. I really did not mesh with that show whatsoever. Dude, I found the 10 pound mud snapper. Nice job, bro. Good work. Oh, darn it. Not really, bro. It's freaking useless. I know. It doesn't even, like, if it even just sold for something, it would be usable. But it sells for 8 copper. Hmm. That's not much. No, it is not. Ugh. Ah. Ooh, called it close there. That's yeah, somewhat. Hmm? On my way to Westfall. <laughs> Are ya? Sure is. Can I finish this up? No. How much a stack of raw brilliant small fish is worth? Uh, I don't know, like a silver. One gold, ten silver. What? Wow. Kevin was evil, he was a bit of a douchebag that later got out for blood against Ben because he was turned into a monster. Oh, how- <clears throat> What made him go good then? Oh, okay. Marcus it says wasn't evil. Oh, wasn't evil. Oh, great. I'm guessing at some point Ben saved uh, Kevin Levin. And, uh, they... <laughs> Kevin Levin. They called truce or something. His name is Kevin Levin. I know, but it's funny. Darn it. Damn it, I forgot to get uh, Z-Pearl again. Yeah. 
Honestly, um, what you were saying before about Minecraft, uh, Fascisto, I've always wanted to do something like that, and Marcus and I were actually talking about doing something similar to that. Fascisto what was, was he... talking about doing a, uh, uh, like a hardcore Minecraft series with you and I, where we have three lives. Um, oh. And then, uh, we would play, I think he said beta 1.3, which is before beds. But I think what we do instead is just uh, play the regular without beds. Just not allowed to have then beds. Then we don't have to worry about phantoms all the time. Well, that's what would make it more, more hard. And fa what, phantoms only spawn at night. What is the point, though, of um, the limitation of not being able to use beds? Because it would be quite a bit harder, um, because the enemies, or, you oh, know, you have to like, using beds night. all the time keeps, uh, creepers and stuff from spawning. No, well, I guess, but then you're just, like, stuck inside all, uh, oh. <sighs> I was too slow. Oh, it didn't make it. Uh, but then you're just, like, stuck inside all night, right? I, I guess. Um, yeah, I suppose. I just don't really see the the difference between sleeping in a bed to get the night done and just waiting in your house as the night continues on. As you're, you're just waiting, you're not really doing anything. You, I mean, you went there. Ouch. Dip it. Rats! You wouldn't dare go out because there would be no point and it'd be too risky. Right? I don't know. We'd have to come up with some rules for it. Yeah. Uh, what was to survive 100. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Survive 100 days in game uh, with only three lives. The lack of beds forces your. Sur uh, sorry, I'm far from the screen. Uh, forces you to survive through the night rather than skipping it. The difference is that Beta 1.3 had no beds, so you're supposed to be doing stuff at night just as you would during the day. Right. Uh, I think the problem is is that like even right now in, in a 1.0, we're running out of things to do. Um, like there's building and there's mining and enchanting and stuff like that to finish the game. But like as far as just things to go out and do, it there's few in this version. Yeah, if, if the objective is survival, then going out and just building things for for fun seems a, a bit um, contrary to that goal, if you know what I mean. If we had to, if we had to make it to the end in under 100 days, then we'd have to, we'd be forced to constantly be moving if we could. Yeah. Uh, beta 1.3 felt like an actual challenge surviving game rather than post-adventure update Minecraft. I believe it. I, I think it's a little antiquated for me. Prepare Marcus, I see... just got an alert that you're streaming now. <laughs> nice. Prepare to see a very underwhelming, if coolly designed, boss. The mob AI was smarter in a in a earlier version of the game. Sure, or I mean, you would know, I guess. But your health didn't regenerate, but that's because behold, the hardest boss in Dark Souls Three. <laughs> meter. This Dark Souls Three annoys me for their bosses, like. Oh, Not only on. are just the areas way easier in Dark Souls 3, but the bosses are so easy and not creative at all. Yeah, right, well, they can be creative, but man, I wouldn't call this a boss fight. Oh, just, just hit his little it. bracelets <laughs> until they break. Yep, one down. The Two lore down. behind this is that this uh, king here, High Lord Wolnir, um, he was deathly afraid of the dark. So even in death, he has these bracelets that were lighting lighting his path. And once you break the bracelets, that's all he had, and he gets basically feared and falls into death. Falls into death. 
Yeah, that's hard. I'm well, not even. I, I think goes. that's vaguely correct. I'm, I goes. can't remember. Uh, I almost forgot the item. Not that matters. Not sure. Not sure if it was smarter. I know it was dumber later on. Not sure it was on release 1.0. They got dumber down early. I, you know, I'm gonna tell you what. In 1.0, they're definitely smarter than they are in later, because I haven't died to a creeper in so many years on retail, but I've died a couple of times in 1.0. I don't know, man. Go being in the mines the other day. The enemies were a whole lot easier than in. Uh, than in modern versions. A whole lot easier. Well, okay, creepers make a loud sound in in retail, but in classic, you can't tell if they're coming or not. Hmm. Alright, Marcus, oily blackmouth cost a lot in, uh, in Classic 2019, how much uh -huh. do you think it would be oh, now? Oh shoot, ow! That was coming. No, Mimic! Uh, I don't know, I don't even remember how much they cost in Classic 2019, dude. I wasn't really an alchemist back then. I was making like, two gold 50 per stack. Oh. Well, it's gotta be significantly less, considering it had a reputation of being, uh, high value, right? Right? How much would you say it's worth now? I don't know, half price, one. One gold. Oh great, a freaking ad, I can't even hear what you're saying. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, say what you're saying again. I guessed one gold. One gold per? Or one gold per stack? Stack. Burn it. A stack is 20, right? Yeah. So, it's 20 silver. They're worth one silver each on the auction house. Oh, that's not much. <laughs> Man, it sure is difficult having to... It's not even worth freaking farming. Twice ...for them to stay down. Not all uh, the lack annoying. of sprinting in complete darkness and lack of health regeneration at all. No stacking food, so you have to manage resources smarter. Beta 1.3 was the last time Minecraft was a true heart survival game. Uh, yeah. I'll have to check it out, I suppose. I have no disagreements. But, I'm not entirely sure I want to make a series out of oh, that. Oh wait. I just, I really feel like... Marcus, by the Westfall Lighthouse, um, is that fisherman there just a salesperson, or is he a profession trainer? What? I, what, what person? The guy on the dock by the Westfall Lighthouse. Oh, I think he trains fishing. Um... Because, like, so, about Bay 1.3, I wouldn't have enough to do in the sense that sure there'd be plenty I could do but I wouldn't have enough things to show on camera if you know what I mean like say I want to go after the end in 1.0 uh, like I'm gonna be doing soon no not everyone's gonna want to see me um, walking around looking for the uh, the nether fortress once I get to the end I mean nether not not everyone's gonna want to see me just going outside and hunting endermen all night long. No, not everyone's gonna want to see me uh, hunting down the the stronghold for however long that takes. I have to cut out a lot of stuff to keep it entertaining. I'm just not sure if Beta 1.3 would have what there, I need. In 1.0, the strongholds are really not easy to find. Yeah. I, I say you're probably right about that. I saw um, I saw a clip of Gurian on Hermitcraft. He was being asked by Scar how many strongholds there are per world in uh, in Minecraft, and Gurian said two. And he said it used to be two, but now it's 105. Whoa! Maybe it's not so hard to find then. Uh, that's why. No, I, I mean in retail, it's not hard to find. It used to be two, though. Yeah, yeah. 
That's why there's the objective to survive 100 days. Well, I mean, if I if I take a look and I'm surprised at how difficult it is to survive, so to speak, then I might consider it. Because if there's enough to show for it to be entertaining, it would be fun. I don't know. Marcus, do you know where the fish king trainer in Stormwind is? Yeah, he's on a dock in the canals, dude. I don't understand how Oh, I... that's right. Oh, I didn't speak to them in Firelink. That's why they're not here. Oh, well. I didn't want any of their stuff anyways. It might be a weirdo, but I like just seeing people t walk around Beta. Hmm. <sighs> I think it honestly Is Beta hurts. when they still had the really, really bright green grass? Yes. I think it honestly hurts me to just post unedited footage. It really does, because it it makes me I think very it does anxious. Too. Your that ADHD like kills you. It, it makes me anxious that it's boring because I know where I would put edits. It hurts me. I think. I think. When I start doing more Let's Plays of other games, such as I really want to do the Dead Space remake uh, soon, I will do mostly unedited footage, because most of that stuff will be on this. Okay, now we get to... Uh, experience the arduous task, which is killing this worm. Darn it. Come on, pick it up. So, you're supposed to fight this big wormy boy. Uh, but instead, you can just sit down right here, and that giant ballista up there will shoot at you and hit the worm. really hard. Like green grass Dude, praise dude. people for making unedited Minecraft beta gameplay. It's nostalgic. Shy Halud. What is Shy Halud? I don't know. Well, I mean, it might be nostalgic, but... People like nostalgia trips, but are they going to stick around? Probably not. Dune reference. Oh! Okay. Oh! Yeah, we saw Dune yeah, 2. Yeah, the sandworm in Arrakis. Right, right, right. Dune 2 is pretty good. I, I was the very The Eternal impressed. Thing or the Grandfather of the Desert. It is so much better than the first movie, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it really is. The first one I didn't even even think was very good. Like, I wasn't even interested in seeing the second one. But my mom bought me tickets to see it in theater with her, so I was like, okay, I'll go. And it was surprisingly good. It was very good. When the Freemans see the sandworm appearing, they say Shai Halud When the Freemans see Yusin the sandworm appearing, you see Shai Halud in unison for the first movie. Kula mm. Iva. Deacons of the Deep. Halud near. yep. Demon. Yep. I got souls, baby! Plenty. Where is that? Rent times run. Um, and then let's change that to times run. Pretty be careful. You should see part two. It's really good. It's really good. Especially the knife fights. The knife fights are very tense. Very well, then, hey. 
They are they're they're very realistic in comparison to what you usually see for knife yeah. fights in games. It reminds me or in movies. Reminds me of the knife fight in the ending of The Revenant, if you've seen that. Oh. That's also a good movie. Yeah. Um Chief, oh, have no you seen wonder it wasn't working well. Edward Cullen's Batman. I have not. I have not. Uh I just don't Trying to get Marcus to sit down for a movie on. is like pulling hair. Pulling teeth, rather. It's, I'm just I I love movies, of course. Mm, I'm I just, you know, I, I could be doing something more productive, is the thing. Like working on a video. Yeah. Or whatever. Or playing Team Fortress 2. I really ought to see more movies. I wish I could have gone to see Dawn of the Dead 1978 in theaters this month, but it's all the way over in Portland. And I don't want to have to drive hours to go see a movie. It would have been a four-hour drive. I know. That would have been awesome. At least, uh, at least The Phantom Menace is coming out next uh, month in theaters. I should be able to see that. It's big enough that I it should appear premiere in town, right? You guys ain't fans of Batman? Uh, oh, uh, I really like Batman. I don't... Yeah. He's um, probably my I like favorite Batman, DC hero. But but we don't know really anything about him. We never read comics. We. Literally, the first thing we ever saw was, um... Marcus, what was that movie called? Mask of the uh, Phantasm. The, movie, the anime one. Mask of the Phantasm was the first one we ever saw. And, and still then the next one, one that we ever Batman saw was movies. the Christian Bale movies. I've never even seen the uh, Michael Keaton Batman um, movies. We're really not superhero people. But Mask of the Phantasm is an awesome movie. I love that. A lot. It, it seems to me that superhero movies movie. are best in animation. I love when he's praying to his parents to forgive him. Yeah. That's a pretty intense scene. You ever seen Mask of the Phantasm? Batman doesn't feel superhero y for me. No, he, he's definitely one of the better ones. I mean, I'd definitely watch Batman over, like, Superman or something like that. Um, but it's just not the kind of content I typically like to consume. Plus, I've never read a comic book in my life. Shut up, you guys. Oh no. Oof. Ah, get off of me! Okay. It's like Punisher in that regard. I never watched Mask of the Phantasm, but I know about it. It's it's the. It's the Batman animated series movie, pretty much, except it's more for adults in that there's guns, uh, uh, blood, lots of violence, and maybe a swear or two? I can't recall. Mark Hamill as, uh, Joker. Do that. Yep. A camel. A camel. No, a camel. <laughs> it's really good. Some call it the best Batman movie, believe it or not. It has to do... It has a lot to do with Batman as a character, not just a story with Batman in it. It actually has very little to do with his enemies and more about his uh, psychological state. Yeah. 
It's about a lot to do with why he's Batman and the reasons behind his uh, turning into the Batman. It it's it's like an origin story. It begins with him uh like there's a scene in the movie when he goes out to fight crime for the first time and he's just wearing a leather jacket with a ski mask on because he this is it was it's his first time and he doesn't even know who he is trying to be yet so there's a lot of origin story stuff going on you should t definitely check it out sorry man i'm not much of a reader Mark Hamill lost my admiration completely. How's that? Why is that? I like Mark Hamill. Yeah, he's cool. Ski mask thing, Ski is, mask from thing is from Batman Year, year one, one comic. comic. Well, oh, okay. there you go. You know it's quite faithful. Can't wait to get out of here. I hate how necessary this area is. There's like two S's flask shards and three undead bone shards. I something like that. I don't think there's that many. Maybe it's no. One I think it's just one undead bone shard and two, two uh, uh, S's flask shards. No, because you get a bone shard from the worm, and here's another one. Are you? Uh, uh or, or or abort the child? I don't know. Was that supposed to come with a message? <laughs> that was very disillusioning for me. I don't know what I don't know you're what saying. you're talking about abort the child. Going to face the black abort the Boreal Valley. Those things are called grues. I just always thought they were satyrs when I was new to this game. Did YouTube censor me? Seems like it. Sorry. What do you mean? Oh. That's it probably must have. Why. It just says, or abort the child. That's all it says. Yeah, you little jerks. Mark Hamill tried to convince a woman. You know where it might be a... Oh, really? Or, well, it was back in the day. What? Um. Remember fishing up, um, tiny lures in... in Lakeshire? Shiny lures? You mean, like, shiny baubles? Yeah, like, they're... One of the things you could... Yeah. Um, one of the things you could fi fish up would, uh, um, would be worth, like, a silver 50 or something just for fishing up. I, uh, uh know, Mark Hamill tried familiar. to convince a woman. Oh. Um, I haven't heard yeah. anything about that. I don't know. I don't get into that kind of stuff. And plus, uh, it doesn't, doesn't, uh, affect me in a way that, uh, it changes my opinion on a person. 
I didn't... D do you know what he's talking about, bro? Because I haven't heard this story. Plus, I feel like a lot of times you need to separate the person from... Um, separate the person from their acting career. You know, like, Johnny Ow. Cash was into drugs, but you wouldn't stop listening to Johnny Cash just because he took drugs. Oh, well, I, I you know. learned that uh, Don McLean is right. a dick, so I'm not as big a fan of American Pie anymore. Who? Don McLean, the guy who's saying American Pie. Oh, was he? I think so, yeah. Also, what Mark Camel story do you mean, bro? Do you n know something I don't know? No, I don't know. I, I'm only going off of what he said. Oh, okay. Uh, he just said that he tried to convince someone to abort a kid or whatever. But... Oh, I see. Then I should probably find out infor more information on that. But like I said, you know, I think um, when I when I think of the Joker, it's his voice I hear. Definitely. So I, I don't care what Mark Hamill has to do with it. Um, I just like the Joker for being the Joker. Mark Hamill. Oh, we're not talking about American Joker. Pie the movie. We're talking about the song. Yeah, not not the movie. We're talking about the song, the classic American. You no, know, my Pie. my Miss American Pie. He might. I don't know if he's heard it. It's really good. Took the Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. I've never even seen American Pie. No, or I have, and it sucks. It's <laughs> just, all it is is it's just softcore porn. Really? Yep. <laughs> it's just it's just a bunch of uh, high school, or well, depending on the movie, high school or college kids just uh, just was I supposed know, to get trying to see boobs and stuff last, like that. Last shard down here. Uh, you dislike it. Joker? Why do you dislike Joker? Because he takes the attention away from Two-Face. He really likes Two-Face. He's told me that before. Mm. He oh, thinks Two-Face cool. is a far more interesting villain. I fully watched American Pie this the stuff to the pie. I don't even know what you're talking about, and uh, I'm thankful for that. I don't know if I saw that one. <laughs> if I did, I probably just don't remember. There's a lot of them. I don't. I think the Joker is the opposite. It's like uh, what first. was that one movie? That, that Porky's or whatever it's called. Yeah, that that's that's. It's Porky's just like that. It's just all to... about. Let's see how much nudity we can get in a movie. I mean, I haven't seen that one either, but from what I've heard about it, it's basically like just uh, American original. Pie, the the Naked Mile or whatever. Uh, can you guys go away, please? You know what's funny about the na Naked Mile? Or, uh, American Pie, I mean? What is the um, Naked Mile? His dad in the movie is the dad from Schitt's Creek. It's an American Pie movie. Oh. Get off of me! Uh, that Joker is a bland character in general. I I just I enjoy how, you know, he might just He's... be bland and just wants to do bad things or whatever. But I just enjoy how much he does it just to piss off Batman. That's that's the only reason yeah, he does it's, it. It's the, and if it's he the ever game. loses Batman, he'll he'll lose his reason for doing it. The the reason for what Joker does is he he enjoys it because he loves the game between him and Batman. If if he stops, like, if he stops doing crime, then, um, he'll never get to, to beat Batman at the game, which is breaking him and making him kill and lose himself. And if Batman ever kills the Joker, Penguin then he'll lose the game. Penguin is more interesting than Joker. Riddler is more interesting than Joker. And, and all that. Who's Victor Saz? Victor Ch Saz. Chaz. I don't know. Eh, I don't know. Killer Croc, Ventral Two-Face, above them all. 
the, See, the to me, they all the just seem like side the... villains when when yeah. the Joker isn't the main threat. It really does. Uh, it really does seem, at least to us, like Joker is the. But the once again, we're not really big Batman story, fans, and the rest are a bunch of like side villains. I know that probably must burn you up big time, but that's just kind of how it seems. Well, I think it's not right. He that, do that's evil why I think he's interesting because he, uh, he is evil. He does evil things in an attempt to break the character of those around him because he had the quote unquote right. bad day and he wants to. Um, see other people go through similar experience so that he can break who they are and it, it's like bring them down to his level that's what he enjoys he wants to take batman right. from his pedestal of of um uh righteousness and bring him down to his level that's his goal and that's very interesting to me and it's an eternal game because steal the hedgehog if, is just the edge of no substance. If I don't Joker know who that quits, is. then he loses the game because he'll never get to see Batman brought down. But if Batman kills the Joker, then the Joker wins because he will have brought him down to a level lower than uh, than he sought to be in. So it never ends. It's cool. It's really interesting, at least to me. It's like a mind game, but uh, he makes it more than a mind game by yeah. including people and killing people and stuff like that. That's why the Joker's worst fear is being killed by someone that's not Batman. Because that is a rogue element in their game. Makes Batman which, look worse because yeah. Batman has no reason to kill Joker. Joker is very clearly irredeemable. Well, I, I think, you know, something that I think is underrated is when good characters do things for selfish reasons it is selfish that batman doesn't kill the joker but that just makes it all the more interesting it really does it's the same thing as say goku letting vegeta get away after their first fight like it doesn't make sense if he wants to keep the earth safe but he really wants to fight him again it's a selfish selfish decision but it's you know it's it's interesting and Who is in the end Saz? it was the right thing to do because Vegeta turned out to be a good guy. I have no idea who that is. Oh. There we go. Uh, he. Also known as Mr. Saz is simply Saz, the supervillain appearing in the comic book published in DC Comics, the character's first appearance in Batman Shadow of the Bat, Volume 1. He is a sadomasochist and is a psychopathic serial killer who craves a t a, er, carves a tally mark onto himself for each of his victims. Hmm. I think I remember him being mentioned one of the in uh, Arkham City. <laughs> You know, this has nothing to do with Batman, but you know what character I've never liked? What? Deadpool. I've never really been a big fan of Deadpool either. Like, I, I've watched the first movie uh, with Veronica and Randy, and it was just like stupid humor the whole time, and I'm like, this is just stupid. Yeah, I thought the game was really funny, but that's about it. That's because the humor was done right and it didn't get all Ryan reynolds <laughs> Um, Seriously, like, Ryan Ren Reynolds, you know, he hates that he was in Green Lantern, but, like, it seems like he's in the same role everything he's in. That's very true. He very much acts like Ryan Reynolds every movie, every role he's had. Um, you know who I do like that kind of looks like Deadpool? 
Uh, not in in uh, behavior whatsoever. What? Oh, you mean um, Deathstroke? Slade from Teen Titans. Yeah, Deathstroke. Slade no. Wilson. Or well, I think they're the same character, aren't they? Is but Slade has like Slade he eventually gets like demonic powers. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, I would love. Yeah, a, I think his name is Deathstroke. Stroke All I know is that game. we watched Teen Titans, and Please I always thought that Slate was awesome. Did you just call him Sleet. Sleet. Yep. <laughs> the problem is, is that I hear oh. you talking at the same time, and then I try to hear what you're saying while I'm talking. Yeah, but um. Uh, there is yeah, one... Yeah, Deathstroke's name is Slade Wilson. His villain title is Deathstroke, but in Teen Titans, they called him Slade. Because they couldn't call him Deathstroke. It's, you know, you can't say death on a kid's show. I always liked Slade, and I always really liked Cyborg. Yeah, Teen Titans was so awesome. Because um, I've always been more interested in technology than I was uh, powers. There is one uh, Deadpool comic that I saw short of online that was, that was actually really cool. So, you know the whole shtick about Deadpool, right, is, is that he, uh, he breaks the fourth wall because he's aware he's a comic book character? Right, yeah. Well, there's a, there's a comic book series, or I don't know if it's a one-off or whatever, but where he goes out and kills the whole Marvel Universe, you know, he kills everyone. And one of the last ones is Professor Charles Xavier of the X-Men. And in an attempt, in attempt to figure out why Deadpool is doing what he does, he goes, he reads his mind, but he's shocked by what he sees because at that point he realizes what has been obvious to Deadpool the whole time, which is that he's a fictional character in a superhero comic book, and it, it devastates him. <laughs> Which is just hilarious, and I, I yeah, actually that. love that. That is funny. Yeah. But, you know, Deadpool is technically the reason why um, Venom is so crazy. Did you know that? I don't think this is canon or anything. Fascista might be able to tell me otherwise. But, uh... So the the way Spider-Man got the Venom uh, suit is in Secret Wars. He was off on another planet or whatever, and he used like a machine or something to give him a new suit, which was the symbiote. But in a uh, in a Deadpool comic, it's shown that Deadpool was at that place earlier. And he used the same machine and gave him uh, the Venom symbiote. But Deadpool was able to notice that um, it was reading his mind. And he felt sorry for the thing because he knows just how insane and chaotic his mind is. So he took it off and put it back. So Deadpool's mind potentially drove Venom insane. That's interesting. Uh, Victor says it's interesting because of the backstory is that a rich kid and both parents raising him right, and he was surrounded by friends and a whole life, etc. I hate that Deadpool retcon that they made Venom because of Deadpool. They are like desperate to put Deadpool everywhere and make him a thing because edgy twelve-year-old like him. Yeah. yeah, Deadpool seems to be a real people pleaser of a character. I don't know what it is, but people can't stop putting him in everything. And I just don't really think he's all that interesting. He was even in Wolverine. More funny. Well, yeah, but that was like one of the early attempts. And no one liked that version. Right. Uh, in one of the recent movies, he goes back in time and uh, and kills uh, Deadpool in that movie. What? I don't, I don't know if it's Deadpool that he does that, or what movie that was, but he goes back in time and actually kills himself in the past in the Wolverine movie. Huh. Uh, I didn't... 
I hadn't heard about that. That's kind of neat. Um, I'm surprised I'm not getting invaded more, by the way. This is weird. Do I have... Uh, Cross-region play is off, but I don't want to turn it on. Unless you want to deal with some serious lagging. No, sir. <sighs> yeah, how on earth is there not a Deathstroke video game by now? That'd be so cool. That would be cool. I think because Disney's really far too afraid to make an M-rated uh, Marvel. Er, I know Marvel doesn't own DC. For a moment, I thought. Um, for a moment, I thought hey, he was a Marvel character. Yeah. Oh, wait, did, did you I say notice Marvel's that your channel is Disney at two point nine nine subscribers now? Uh, I did. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'll hit 3,000 soon enough. I've been telling people ever since I made that Force Nature video that I have 3,000 subs because, you know, I'm so close it'll happen any day now, right? But, you know, things tend to take time if you don't get lucky. Uh, Marcus, uh, he says, Saz reaches an... Uh, epiphany that life is ultimately just inevitable suffering and meaningless, so he frees people by killing them. He marks his skin to remind himself that he also deserves to die. <laughs> he sounds insane, alright. Yeah, you know, I kind of like living. I think I'm going to stay doing this for, like, another 50 years. 80, 80 some years. Yeah. Alright, well, uh... 80? I would be a hundred and five. <laughs> you don't know, man. I saw a Reddit post the other day of a Chief person... 3000, like Andre 3000. <laughs> what? I don't... Who's Andre 3000? That's a neat idea, though. We went but, through um, this last time, boy. We did? Then tell me. Yep. <sighs> hey, yeah, hey, uh... Oh, right. Anyway, um, I remember now. Um, <laughs> what were we talking about oh, before right, that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Damn it. Um, the guy, oh, uh, living 205. Oh, yeah. I saw a red post just, uh, I think it was yesterday of an old man who's given, uh, who was handed his great great granddaughter his newborn great great granddaughter oh really yep he's that freaking old uh, well their family must really go at it then i guess so like that's their first thing they want to do Um, I really, I'm thinking next week, next weekend, I'm going to try and, um, I'm going to try and find someone to help me rebrand a little. I don't think I'm going to pick a new name just yet if I, if I end up doing that, but I do need to dtf 2 ify my channel a good bit, because it's quite clearly centered around that exclusively at the moment. All the images and everything. You know what I mean. Uh... No, it, it didn't delete your comment. I was just waiting for Marcus to finish talking. Um... Zaz, uh, starts oh. doing this because he gets depressed because his life literally lacks nothing. He tries to commit self-deletion e-beb. <laughs> He's gotta be. He's gotta. YouTube learn. does me dirty, man. Wow. 
Oh, Ow. maybe maybe it doesn't like you talking about about um, yeah. You can't someone say hurting S themselves or something. You can't do self harm talk to topics on YouTube. Tropics. Hey, over there. Step pina coladas. Ow! I didn't expect him to do a thrust. Yeah, that was pretty fast, actually. Ah! Oh, my controller! Dude, come on, get good! Get good! From over there, I swear. I'm not. I'm just trying to do a parry. There! No. Come on. Quit it! Oh! So much Estus. Oh! <laughs> I don't need the Estus. You're gonna die. No. Oops. Well, you could have went and fought what's his face right off the bat if you wouldn't waste so much Estus. Nah. Oh. Come on. I've done this millions of times before. It shouldn't be hard. Millions, yes. I've played the game that much. <sighs> Bruce becomes one of the most evil people in the world. Uh, Zaz becomes one of the most evil people in the world when he was seemingly set up for good. He lacks the tragic backstory completely. He has the opposite of that. Uh, that's what makes him interesting to me. Oh. Mm. It, I think the reason why he's not. I would as have well to know more about him, I guess. I mean, like, other than what you've explained. A seemingly um, milk toast, so to speak, serial killer just isn't as. Um, what's the word? Vibrant? As, you know, a penguin man. A guy with half his face missing. A literal clown. You know. <laughs> it's just not. By the way, as I've never seen Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. Oh. I love Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. To me, that's Joker's origin because that. Dude, was Joaquin perfect. Phoenix is good in everything he's in. He's, I know. He's like a method actor. He is a method actor. He totally is. That's what I'm saying. Uh, by the way, like... Avery Two Face, the very best DC villain that exists. That's <laughs> what Marcus said. You thought. I don't. I only know him from the Christian Bale movies. That's it. I've never seen him in anything else. To me, Two Face is just the first um, villain that you but take down in Arkham City. I do have to City. be right back. I gotta use the bathroom. You? Oh my we'll god! We'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, to me, Two Face is just the first villain that you take down in Batman: Arkham City. Got it. Fun objective fact. A wheelchair of the electric kind. What? Did you get censored again? Next time I find enough titanite scales to reinforce my weapon again, I am going to do some PvP because I want to. It'll be fun.
Yeah, you got censored again. I knew it. Have I talked to you about Thief the Dark Project before, Fashisto? I'm not sure if I have. Let me know. I think I did. No one did Two Face Dirty. Yeah, that's what you told me. I remember. Okay. The first one I would have got. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Darn it. I just want to parry, man. Oh. just want to parry him. That's the only way to get better is by practicing. Talk about... I, oh, okay, well... So... In my Minecraft video that I uh, posted today, um, the ambience that you hear when I'm down in the mine, you know, the, the creepy mine, uh, cave sounds and all that, it's from a game uh, from like 1998 or something, a PC game. I need to look this up. Uh, Dark Project. Yeah, 1998. It's a um, 3D first person stealth game called Thief the Dark Project. And it is just about the best stealth game I've ever played. And I've played a, I played a good few. Um, like Dishonored and Metal Gear. But Thief takes the cake. Because it is one of the first, if not the, the, uh, the first um, 3D game to do stealth so well. And as far as I can tell, it still hasn't been matched. Because the stealth is... So satisfying in that game. It really is, because it feels so realistic. In a sense. And, I mean, I could go on about it, but I'd probably rather put it in a video form, which I do plan to do eventually. But what I'm trying to get at is, um... The reason I used, uh... The music from that game in the video is because, for some reason... It's not a horror game, it's definitely not a horror game, but it has a soundtrack that is creepier than most horror games. If you look up the soundtrack, you'll be like, this is from a stealth game? This sounds like it'd be straight from Amnesia the Dark Descent or something. And ever since I used that music, I've been fighting the urge to play that game on stream. Even though I know I really want to save it for October, because it'd be perfect for then. It's oh, such an underrated title, man. It really, really is. Look it up for yourself. Listen to the soundtrack, look at the pictures, and you're like, yep, that looks like 1998. But the gameplay has not aged like it's from 1998. You might recognize the name Looking Glass Studios. I believe it's because they were behind the System Shock games, if I'm if I'm correct. I think I'm right about that. There we go. It's so good. People, Deus Ex. Oh, it was Deus Ex, right? Or related to Thief, right? I might be misremembering. Yeah, I think that's right. I'm just gonna look this up, so I'm, I can be right and not wrong and stupid. 
Also, I just killed um, Pontiff Sullivan, but don't worry about that. It's an easy freaking boss anyway. Um, games developed. Uh, Ultima, Underworld, The Steady Gen Abyss. System Shock, they did make System Shock, yep. Uh, hmm. So, Looking Glass Studios made System Shock and Thief. IDOS, I think, is um, the ones who published uh, Deus Ex. I think. They pub they published a lot of things. Yes. So yeah, they got some real good games behind uh, the pine behind the people who made Thief. Oh, you're familiar. Oh. Well then I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to talk up this game that I know not a lot of people know about. And that's why I asked you if you know about uh, about Thief beforehand. Mm. I really am fighting the urge to play it on stream, though. Because it's so good. Oh, I heard Terraria music there. Well, what's wrong with Terraria? Terraria and Minecraft have been uh, coexisting for a while. And that's totally fine. He asked if I knew about Thief Dark Project, so that threw me off. Oh. No, I mean, that's its full name. Unless you're talking Thief from 2014, but that's not as good. I've heard it's, oh, it's a good game. Just not a great thief game. Ashen one. I see. I see. My bad. Hmm. Really want more stamina. Eh, we'll just hit the soft cap for now. Oh, you're talking about some fan remake, The Dark Project. Oh. <laughs> Have you played it? It's really good. Oh, it's so good. You just gotta make sure you get, um, the Thief Gold fix, the community fix called T-Fix online, if you do end up playing it, because, um, it fixes a lot of textures, and without it, none of the cutscenes play, so you, <laughs> you'll get no story in between levels. I learned that one the hard way. And also, you know, it provides... Uh, modern resolutions and stuff like that. So if you if you end up playing it, make sure you get T-Fix. It's quite important. And I guess I'll kill these lizards real quick. Darn it. Oh well. In passing. Yeah. The graphics are quite outdated. I'll, uh, I'll totally admit that. But the gameplay just feels really, really solid. And it's from 1998. It's crazy. Graphics about Killer Seven Chief. 
Uh, yeah, I should definitely try that out sometime soon. I'm actually... I'm gonna be looking for games to stream after I'm done playing Dark Souls 3 here, so... It might happen soon. It might happen soon. I mean, I know I want to play Far Cry 5 with Avery on stream, but that's not something that needs to happen uh, soon. I'm going to keep using that word. Especially since our schedules conflict a bit right now. So I might end up playing Killer7 at some point. We'll see. It's just been a long time since I made a Dark Souls 3 PvP character, and I wanted to do it um, just to, like, reminisce or whatever, and make it an Abyss Watcher, because I really love the Farron Greatsword. It's fun. Very fun. Don't try Killer7 out of screen, please. Your action story is very important for me to see. Okay. I usually go, uh, I usually do face cam when I stream anyway. Come on. You gotta be careful tiptoeing into this room, otherwise you'll aggro them both. You don't want that. No, sir. Darn it. Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, uh. no, yay. Oh. You can totally just attack him normally and kill him, but this is a lot more fun. It's critical the head. You need to play it blind and record your face cam and thoughts on it's super important you do that. Okay. Will do. There we go. Oh, we got one. We shall fight down here. I'm down to five sippies. So I've got about as much Estus as he will. Well, hello there. Hey. Um, what have I been missing? Oh, we've been talking about Thief the Dark Project and Killer7 and stuff. And Ooh, I got invaded game. by an Eldritch Faithful. And died? No, he's... I'm waiting for him right now. I was fighting a... Um... One of those beastie boys. So he probably knows I'm down here. Why'd the bonfire relight itself? That's he might be an thing. ambush invader. Oh, well, I, I believe you, considering <laughs> I how swear. often you talk about it. <laughs> every stream, every stream we get uh, talking about Killer7. Well, that's because I told him he could remind me every stream of the game. Mm. So, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Um... In fact, I actually just told him that um, I'll probably be playing it. Isn't Killer Seven soon. heavily story based? Yes. Yeah, that's probably why I'd, I, I probably wouldn't be um, at that stream. I just, 
story-based stuff just bores the shit out of me. Like, Marcus has been playing, or was playing Red Dead Redemption on stream. That game is so boring, because it's mostly talking. That's fair. And you know, after playing through Red Dead 1 again, I probably won't play through Red Dead 2. Because Red Dead Redemption 1 felt plenty long, and Red Dead Redemption 2 is more than twice as long. Red Dead 1 had like 50 seven missions the second game has over 120 if, and if all those are necessary to beat the game that's Nothing like too the game many that's too many the, is this guy AFK um, or something? I will maybe what I'll probably do is I'll have Marcus play it and then I'll ask his opinion on it, and then if he's if he's pro Killer Seven, then I'll check it out. But to me, like even ask Marcus, I just don't play games that are heavily story based. It bores the shit out of me. I don't I don't read books because of the same reason. I don't watch a lot of movies because of the same reason. I the when I play a game, oh. I play it to make the most efficient and powerful character I can. That's why I love oh, RPGs so he's much. Laying with a bow. Hello. He needs to react to first hand and blind. What did no, you Marcus seriously can't not play notice it. me? Don't you want him to play it, or do you want him to watch a video about it? Did and also, um, when me? your chat is at the very bottom, that stupid freaking YouTube heart is blocking what you're saying, so I can't see it right now. Yeah, I really hate that. I wish there was a way to hide that. Ow! I'm just saying that he shouldn't spoil himself. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, after Marcus plays it, and and then he can give me a... a, uh... opinion on what he thinks about it, and if he's pro Killer7, then I'll probably check it out. But, um, like, for instance, uh, I have a friend who likes playing World of Warcraft, and he'll read every quest, and he likes knowing what's going on with the quests and stuff like that. But, to me, like, I just want to get on with it, and just start killing, and be as efficient as possible, the fastest. If I was to say, like, what my brain works best for, Hello? it's for figuring out the most efficient way to do something. And I don't think Marcus will disagree with that. Um, hi. You really took your time, pal. How you doing? 98% gameplay rather than cutscenes? Okay, well. Story focused, I don't mean yeah. that. Infested with cutscenes. You know what? One game that disappointed the shit out of me. Uh, we got, when Redbox used to do games still. We went to Redbox and we got Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> and I I brought that home and we started playing it. And after like four hours, it finally gave us the ability to start playing the game. And I was just like, this absolutely something sucks. Like that, yeah. Why would I want to play something where I'm playing like a four hour long movie? Ow! <laughs> Marcus, don't parry him. Okay. You'll lose if you do. Ow! Oh, they're shooting at me. I don't like that. Burn it. Ah! <laughs> Shit! Rewards you get for playing. Not fair! You know what? You know what a really, I bet, a oh. very comparable game? Um, not too... Here, I'll, I'll wait until Marcus is done with this PvP fight. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't um, healing because Marcus, you're not ready for PvP. Duel. Quit doing it. What do you mean I got invaded? What do you want me to do? Just, I don't know, kill yourself. What? What are you ashamed because I lost or something? 
I don't care. No, it's just like, whenever we play Dark Souls, you're always the first one to jump into PvP. Because you, like, care. can't wait. It's and fun. I've seen you run around scanning. Yeah, so? You act like I um, damaged your Anyway, what honor I was going to say about Killer7 is I don't know about... Sorry, I'm a little behind on, on YouTube right now. Let me pa fast forward here. Um, I'm going to use the dried finger. Anyway, what I was going to say about Killer7 is I don't know really what the game is about, but as far as the way it sounds, where it's heavily story-based and it's got good cutscenes and whatever, um, a game that we have played in the past that we never make it very far on because... The gameplay is good, but it's got too much story for us, is Osra's Wrath. Well, I mean, Osra's Wrath is just um, an anime. Osra's Wrath is cool. It's got it's got um really cool story, it's got a really cool world, but every time I play it I get so bored eventually that I just can't continue. Well the gameplay is nothing to is nothing special, unfortunately. No, but it, but it's still It's just a delivery fun. to the next cutscene. Right, that's the thing. Uh, Killer 7 has 53 minutes of cutscenes and 8 hours of gameplay. I just looked it up. Oh. Neat. I bet you Asura's Wrath is the opposite. It's like... Osura's Wrath is just a short anime, but it's tenth. really good. I would recommend watching a compilation of all the cutscenes to cut together. Because it's a surprisingly good anime. I actually saw a list of uh, giant anime characters the other day, and that uh, that one guy, guy appeared in it. Um, I forget what his name was. Yeah. I forget it. Two. Where he tries to kill Osra with his finger. Yeah. Like I said, I'm I'm not saying I won't check it out, but it, I I'm just when it, a game is heavily story based, it, so it, it deters me from watching it. It deters me. Like, you know what game? Uh, series does gameplay plus um, cutscenes perfectly. Da, da. Dude, you have dried fingers on? Yeah! Are you serious? I wanted to take the invasion timer away. Yeah. I'm not trying to get invaded. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> um. Oh, right. It's just the freaking femboy ring. Chakra Vartan, his name was. Hello! Hi there! Nice sword! We fight? Um... Oh, any game... The game that dis does gameplay and cutscenes really, really well is, um... All the Metal Gear Solid games. Like, there's a lot of cutscenes in Metal Gear Solid, but... You are interested oh. enough that you are okay with watching like 40 minute of custom. Hey, this is pretty close. Um, Avery, unless you want to sit and experience Color 7 firsthand by yourself, it would be neat if you were to be <laughs> reacting to the story alongside Marcus. I did it, well, bro. We'll I see. Got whenever him. I'm a busy, busy person, so whenever um, yeah, he's pretty dang busy right whenever now. Whenever Marcus does it, if I'm free, I might. That's why we haven't played Far Cry for, uh, Five on stream because we can't be sure. Oh yeah, I'm always like yesterday. I just finished putting in an engine, um, and I've been working on renovating my parents' house so that they can sell it. And there's just so much crap going on. Did you see me beat that guy, bro? Uh, dude, Killer7 has less cutscenes than Metal Gear, and Killer7 also has oh. next zero. I mean, to be fair, no, that's I, I'm not, not saying a lot. I'm not comparing them. I'm Metal just Gear saying Solid 2 out is of... mostly cutscene. 
Yeah, I was just saying that out of all games I've played where they have that thing where there's a lot of cutscenes, Metal Gear doesn't bug me that much. Mm -hmm. Me that's because the cutscenes are interesting. The reason why the cutscenes sucked in Horizon Zero Dawn it's, is because it was just... Look, this is the main character as a baby. This is them as a kid. And, like... I don't care that much about a character I just met that I want to watch hours worth of cutscenes with them already before getting to play the game. That's kind of how I felt about uh, the Witcher games, too. Like, I just didn't think it was that I really need to play The Witcher 3 again someday, because we were, we were like, tweens when we played that, bro. It might be good. It's, it's possible. I've heard a lot of great things. It's possible. It's possible. I feel... I wonder if you need to play anything besides Wild Hunt in order to uh, play the third. I doubt it. I've heard the other two Witcher games are... Uh, you if you need to piece the story yourself together. Killer7 doesn't have a lot of cutscenes. It's an 8 hour game and only 53 minutes of cutscenes. Yeah. That sounds pretty dang doable for a stream. Like I said, yeah, I, I don't know um, what it's like, so I can't speak, but I was just giving my opinion on games that do have a lot of cutscenes. So that guy was using the Cathedral Knight Great. Hey Marcus, did you know that John um, fished one of his characters to to uh, sixty? Didn't you tell me that? That's pretty crazy, though. No, no, he his main he pet battled up. His druid he fished up. Right, right. That is ridiculous because I can't imagine a more boring way to level a character up. Hey, you did it! Good job. Thank you. Um, um, so that guy was fighting me with the Cathedral I'm Knight that Greatsword, that bro, and apparently it has a really vicious true combo. You know what it is? Oh, really? If you get no. hit with the um, two-handed R1, you will have a guarantee guaranteed two-handed R2. It hurt a lot, but I still won. Oh, really? I believe it. Um, Bashi still. What is your favorite type of game? Yikes. Like, like genre. Because Marcus knows mine. Oh uh, yeah. I describe the gameplay. I would say it's. Third person, first person shooter with RPG mechanics and heavy puzzle mechanics and exploration emphasis. You know, I, I thought it was like an on rail shooter or something. You know what? Uh, what uh, Killer Seven reminds me of from the outside. Don't have a favorite genre. Is another game that I want to play on stream someday, and that's Deadly Premonition. It sounds a lot like De Deadly Premonition, especially with its bizarre nature. Isn't Deadly Premonition that, that RPG Maker game? No. Deadly Premonition is a very bizarre 7th generation um, detective game. But it's bizarre... It uh, is on rails, okay. That is See, that that's why it's... The appeal. Sorry, Marcus, I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's because of the delay. Yeah. Um, but you get to pick which rail you go on to a certain location so yeah see that's what threw me off because um like even going to arcades when i was little i never liked on rail shooters uh, marcus always played them i always liked the things that could efficiently make me tickets the fastest um i don't remember what i was gonna say Oh. Uh, yeah, anyway, my favorite genre of game is RPGs. Yep. Uh, because I always try to make the most powerful character I can. And some of my characters in Without games have just conforming completely to the meta. broken the game. To where, like, it's not even fun to play. Right, bro? Yes, I do not conform to meta. Ever. Like, I am a, uh, a Ow. shameless... Um, 
Shit, what's that word, Marcus? Oh, uh, you're a contrarian. Always been a contrarian all word. your life. Always hated things I've loved. Yes, I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> Don't go that far. <laughs> oh, you love your dog? Oh, I hate him. Freaking dog. Uh, works like this. You press the button, your character walks forward on the rail, but you can also turn around and go to a different rail. There we go. We'll have to check it out sometime. Whoops, I'm not fishing. Why am I not fishing? You know, it'd be kind of cool to play Bloodborne on stream sometime. I played Sekiro on stream, and that was a lot of fun because Sekiro never stops being difficult. And Bloodborne has a similar appeal, so maybe that'd be fun, too. So, you know what? I wish Bloodborne Fashista. had any replay value, though. Um, after you I'm done playing this Dark Souls 3 character, I don't know how long I want to play him for, but I do know I want to play a good bit of PvP. Um, I give you my word that we'll play Killer7. Why not? I just hope that there's after enough. This? Uh, after I'm done playing Dark Souls 3, like, at some point. I don't know. But I hope there's enough of an audience to satisfy mm. you because uh, one reason I waited so long was so that there would be more viewers to see me play the game. Because I know how important it is. Is uh, this supposed to be like a famous game or something? I don't think so. I've never even heard about it until. Uh, until Fashi still brought it up. Oh, I did. Its Aldrich graphics before... look, remind me of um, uh, Jet Set. They do kind of remind me of Jet Set. Jet Set, Jet Set, K K S A R, Groovy. J J S A R, Groovy. Jets up radio. Uh, okay. Thanks a lot for playing it, though. That's gonna be <laughs> thanks a lot for playing it, though. That's gonna be magnificent. All right, I'm excited to see what all the hubbub is up. Uh, is up, bub. What's that hubbub, bub? Holy shit, it's expensive. I wasn't expecting it it's to be that expensive. Steam. I can't remember how much it is on Steam though. Oh, it's originally a GameCube game? What? It's 20 bucks. Oh. When you said GameCube, I thought you said Game Boy. I'm like, that's impressive. <laughs> it's a Game Boy game on Steam. Hope you don't uh, get disappointed though. I really already like the game a lot, so I might be overhyped intentionally. Guess we'll see. Guess we'll see. <laughs> but do you know? Uh, do you know Deadly Premonition? Because that's a very unique game as well. Very. Unique. I hear the Steam version is super buggy though. There has to be a lot going on typically uh, in a game, or at least stat-wise, for to really interest me. For instance, um, Marcus likes playing um, mm. Darkest Dungeon. That game, if there was animations and stuff where your characters are actually moving and whatever, then it would interest me more. But the fact that they're just pictures bugs me. I love that game. I've wanted to play it on stream so many times, but Avery has always convinced me not to. <laughs> yeah, because no one wants to watch just freaking pictures on screen. Fejisto, would you want to see me play Darkest Dungeon? Yes, they are. It's it very, very weird. weird. Yeah, I've, yes. never, I've never heard of it. Um. Give him a second, he'll answer. It's got horrible ratings, too. Darkest Dungeon is sick. I would love it. There you go. What do you know? Dude, it's so, like, slow. 
It's not that okay, slow. Okay, here's another problem with the game. If I'm making a character in a game, I want the character to be my character. I don't want to, like, grow this character and make him powerful, and then he gets PTSD and won't fight for me <laughs> anymore. That's freaking stupid. That That is actually something that happens. If you take uh, a um, hero, for lack of a better term, because I don't remember what they're called, into the darkest dungeon, the, like, big bad one that you work toward the game to get to, they will be so traumatized from their visit, they will not go in it again. But, from that point on, they'll be okay with revisiting lower difficulty dungeons, so you can take them in to help bring other heroes up. So they're like, just don't bring me in there! I'll, I'll go into the easy ones! I don't want to go back! It's just annoying, because I, I want to make a strong character, and then the game takes away my strong character. Uh, he says, yeah, Darkest Dungeon is pretty niche in that regard, I suppose. Well, I mean, it's not really PTSD. They'll just be so horrified by what they witness in the dungeon that they'll do whatever uh, to not have to go back. Oh, you bastard! That was like the only move you could have done to save yourself there. I ah. killed Kenny. You bastards! That's an old meme right there. It's not a meme. It, it is in a sense that it's a running joke from the show. It's been referenced how many times in other media. Um, one thing we should play for uh, Farfetch'd you still sometime is... Your only move is Hustle, because Fashisto is so into fighting games, I wonder oh. what you would think of it. Uh, no, he said that he didn't like it, I thought. I don't... I don't know. But Killer7 has RPG elements so that it can be chosen in certain traits and level up in that... Earn the character, I see. You level up, you unlock new abilities and such, you gotta choose what characters you want to invest stuff. Sure. That makes sense. Marcus, when are you gonna play Real Steel on stream? It'll be a while. Or Red Steel. Oh, <laughs> Red Steel! I thought you meant the Real Steel Hugh Jackman movie, The Game, on PS3 on stream. I mean, also is cool. It's like a fighting game, but also turn-based, like Pokemon. It, okay, no, so that game sucks. I I love I love Yomi Hustle. Um, I I would love to. Yeah, I don't care. I we think can I've, play Yomi Hustle whenever. I think I talked about Red Steel Two already, Fashisto. But it's the best game on the Wii, and I really want to make a video about it someday. <sighs> Red Steel Two. Best game on the Wii, that's, incredible. that's quite the title. It's true. It's the only one that takes full Actually, advantage of Red all Actually, Red Steel 2 has a similar look to Killer7. It does. Look up Red Steel 2 and you'll probably but, recognize but the like a, But like a newer look. Yeah, it's just more updated. I mean new for the Wii versus the GameCube. Yeah. Red Steel 2, not the first game. The first game has... More realistic graphics. What do I think puzzle of puzzle stuff? stuff? I don't mind De puzzle stuff. Depends as long on as the puzzles. Much. Depends on the puzzles. If you're talking puzzle stuff like Actually, Silent no. Hill, I'm all over it. But if you're talking puzzle stuff like, I'm really tired of this. Please, just can I look up the answer right now so I can get through this? Like kind of nine squares stuff, or something like that. Then I'm. Or what is it called? Slide it. squares. Oh yeah. I, I mean, I didn't mean specifically that. I just meant puzzle stuff that are that is so niche and impossible to fully uh, to wrap your mind around easily um, that I just get sick of it. Did you did you look up Red Steel? I'm interested to see what you think of it. Yeah, Killer Seven has puzzles frequently, but yeah, they aren't overcomplicated. Cool, cool. 
As long as there's stuff, it's stuff like the piano puzzle from Silent Hill, where it's easy to grasp, but it just requires a little, um, a little thinking, then I'm totally into it. I like puzzles in that sense. Hey, bro. Yeah. I fished up uh, pattern heavy earthen gloves. Oh, are those leather? They sound leather. Uh, yeah, they 57 armor plus 16 attack power. Oh, right, you're on your phone. Here, one sec, don't look it up then. I'll show you. Red Steel 2. It's the most sick anime game ever. Look at this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> wow. What? Uh, oh, it's geez. a pretty cool game. What are you saying wow about? Just your description of it. Oh, uh, yeah. So this is Red Steel 2 on the Wii. Takes full advantage of the Wii Motion Plus. There's guns. Wild West. It, it's like Wild West combined with Fuel Japan. Marcus, move your face cam. There's guns. There's extremely fun Oh, yeah. Uh, extremely fun sword combat. That's uh, feels really good and weighty and will actually make you sweat. Um, with super cool boss fights with anime-like moments. And it It's looks... actually pretty cool how they use motion to, yeah. to fight. I once uh, accidentally smacked my little cousin in the face with a Wiimote while I was playing this when I was a kid. Or when I was a teenager. But it looks like it's yeah, on well, rails. Little you, bugger you can actually it. move around in these enclosed areas and stuff. And it's awesome. It's a fantastic game. You don't think it looks much like Killer7 from those images? No? Hmm. I thought it was reminiscent. Oops. It's really good. I gotta make a video of it someday. I, I suppose it has a Borderlands look to it, too, with all the cell shading and stuff. Yeah, kinda. Anyway! Pressing on! Hey, man, I got an Estus okay. Flash shard for you. Estus! Pretty normal graphics place. When you're actually playing it, you'll see how it's... It's yeah. like cell shaded and um, and the models and stuff. It was really hard to tell from those pictures. It's a damn good game. Marcus, I maxed out my fishing. Oh, nice! Wow. Oh uh, she... There she is. I can't imagine a. More Would you believe boring. that it's easier to max out fishing when you're not the one fishing? I cannot believe that. Wait a second. It's true. One moment. What? Uh. Okay, never mind. For a moment there, I thought it seemed like um, it was a strength weapon. But it's just because my dex is soft capped and my strength isn't. We're gonna get more health and stamina. Yeah. <sighs> I still look. I mean, experiencing game game because you know, play a game I like cringe hit. That's funny. I mean, it'll happen soon, just not like super soon. It, um. Cause like I want to take this character, I want to go a new game plus and do a little <laughs> bit of PvP with them first. Not a lot, just some. We're actually getting pretty close to the end of the game already. I just need to. Did you go. want me to jump on and show you how to PvP, Marcus? Uh, yeah, sure. You, I get to see you get beaten one v ones and then throw your controller across the room. That's how you do PvP, right? Hey, I'm not like that anymore, you know that. <laughs> are you are you saying you wouldn't get upset if someone did a point down? 
Hold on, stream paused up, I can't hear you. Oh. I expect the Dark Souls to be longer? Well, Dark Souls 3 is the shortest Dark Souls game, so... Yeah. Uh, also, I'm just really fast, so, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of... And to it's speed. also the worst! Dark Souls 2 is the longest, but it also somehow feels like the most satisfying in its length Come on. to me, even though it's so long. Yes, I agree. Uh, Dark Souls 2 is my favorite one. Um, I would beat that in about, I don't know, six or seven hours. Yeah. Um, between here and the end of the game, there's only about, um... um and it says that the, three, the average length of beating bosses. the game is 43 hours. Jesus. Yeah, there's only, there's only four bosses left in the game for me to beat to beat the game itself. So. Can you believe that? 43 hours. That's a long freaking time. That doesn't even sound accurate. You can get through the game in a day. That's how long it's supposed to take to beat Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Have you guys seen I, I'm on IMDB. Or, oh. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've, I know of Death Stranding, but it doesn't look like the kind of game that I'd be into. The gameplay seems a little unorthodox, so to speak. Oh, yeah. Never finished a Pokemon game. I've only finished one. I've finished blue like five times. I love it. I mean, Damn. it's a really easy game, of course, but it's still a lot of fun. I, the stream keeps getting behind. The thing about Pokemon games is that you can Pokemon. so easily um, out-level all the trainers to the point where right, that's they're the not an, uh, an issue to fight at all. That's why Nuzlocke's um, have a rule that you're not allowed to over-level the trainers that you fight. It has to be a challenge. We should do a Nuzlocke on stream sometime. That'd be fun. Yeah? That'd be a, a great time. Uh, your skill exceeds mine, though. I've heard of an old man having a booty bay. Yeah. <laughs> go to booty bay. Dude, all you gotta do is, uh, is sail to Theramore and walk down to Ratchet, where you can take the boat to Booty Bay. That way you don't have to go through Vietnam. I know. RPGs are always so long, man. I never even finished a Pokemon uh, Death Stranding. Such an innovative gameplay. Never before have I seen tripping and falling out of balance in a walking simulator before. That sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um dude I you know what I love more than anything walking without hell using my legs. Yeah. Like I I like um I think the idea of walking simulators is pretty cool in that you walk around an interesting narrative environment and you have the story told to you as you explore. Like there are lots of games like that such as Yeah, if only Death Stranding had that. Such as uh, Dear Esther, or The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, and stuff like that. But Death Stranding's not that. That's literally just walk from here to here to deliver packages. It's like Desert Bus, if Desert Bus, you know, weren't ironic. Oh, Booty Bay. Uh, Booty Bay is a uh, city in World of Warcraft, and it means booty as in, like, uh, pirate's yeah. booty. Yeah, it's, it's like a it's like one of those old pirate towns. It's a pirate it's town. It's a cove. In a gulf. Yeah. I'm playing World of Warcraft right now, so I'm just leveling up uh, my fishing. Hey, I got two gold, 26 silver in the auction house. Nice. That's Monet, Bode. Oops. Someone's running around as a giant cactus. Oh, I'm sure it has a buttload of story. It wouldn't be a Kojima game if it didn't. Kojima, rather, not Kojima. Booty Bay sounds like a 
Red Foo song. Red Foo. Sorry, man. Don't know what Red Foo is. Hey, at least later you unlock hey, motorcycle. Hey, at least later you unlock motorcycle and guns in Death Stranding. Do you? Oh. Huh. I've never even looked into it because it just like boring. Man, it's exasperating to think that I'm still waiting for the next game to sweep me off my feet and get me completely engrossed in it. I thought that I was know, going really to be Dragon's, be Dragon's Dogma, Dogma too, too, but it's it's been a bit of a letdown. It really has, and it's sad. I it's because, a very very good game. It's just isn't it's, what the first game was. It's a damn good game, but it's just missing things. It's missing things and it shouldn't be. But it has very active developers, so they might recover it yet. Yeah, if, if they bring us the things that we're missing, and not all of which they can, unfortunately, then I'll be quite happy. But as it is right now, it doesn't actually feel like that, like, a big enough improvement over the first game where it feels like a sequel. You know what I mean? Right, it's... Uh, I don't know. It, it added a, a ton of features that are really, really helpful. Um, the world is the best open world I've ever played. But it's still missing fun features that were in the first game. Yeah. Uh... Wouldn't you say though, like that's the best open world I've ever played? Oh, definitely. Ver Vermund, I think it's called, is really good open world. I think Death Stranding can. I still be, miss Grand Sword. Be weirder though. than Killer Seven because of Death Stranding's world being its own post-apocalyptic thing, and also walking being a big thing. World games tend to be lacking content. I know what you mean, except that it lacks a, a few good things that were in the previous title, and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't and be. And the at other all. title was open world as well. Yes. And as far, but I do agree with you. It can be like that because Elden Ring, which is the sequels or spiritual success. Spiritual, spiritual successors CC, to Dark Souls. <laughs> um, Marks and I cannot get into no matter how hard we try. Yeah, that's also quite sad. But we've talked about that before, so let's not bring that up. Um, well, he watched us play it, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it feels like they realized in with the first game that, alright, so... The, the world is a little lacking, so we're gonna really go hard on trying to make the world better for the sequel. But in the process, they're like, oh crap, uh, we're kind of out of time to add things, including the things that were originally there, so we'll just have to do that later, I guess. I don't know. I'd much rather have a less diverse landscape like we had in the first game, uh, along with the awesome RPG mechanics than the incredible open world that we have in the second game with not as great mechanics. I don't really like how they handle vocations in the second game either. In what sense? Um, hey, you have to unlock pixels, vocations. We still doing, haven't pal? unlocked them all. Yeah. Um, hey, nine pixels. What's up, man? I like there's a dragon called Greg. Yep, there's. That's totally his name. It's it's Greg. Um, <laughs> it's uh, Grigori. Yeah, why should you have to unlock the vocations? That's just stupid. In and not only the first that, game, there's you got not to the really a whole lot of reason city. to play the other vocations because the augments suck. Yeah, in the first game, you got to the capital city and they were right there for you to switch to at any time. It was very, uh, it was very liberating in a sense. Rewarding. And and. In a game where they made the open world so big, and you have to like go up and down in elevation so off, often, 
They removed all the moves that allowed you to get around. Yeah. Uh, has she still Also, I wouldn't trip on my words so much if I wasn't hearing myself twice. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. But she still says he prefers streamlined experiences. Well, you know what? I kind of do too these days. Because, like, it used to be back in the sixth generation era that an open world game was a very unique experience and kind of rare. So anytime you got one, it felt really cool to explore. But nowadays, they're everywhere. And they just don't feel like as... They're, they're not as well made as more enclosed spaces. Except for Dragon's Dome 2, which is right. like so Dark Souls. <laughs> but Dark Souls, you know, probably... Marcus and I love 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 Dark Souls. And it's a linear game. It is not um it is not open, open world. world. And I think if Elden Ring just didn't have an open world, it would be a much better game. Yes. It really would have been the amount of better. time you w you waste just running around trying to find the items that you need to proceed is the thing that slows the game down so bad. I get so damn bored playing Elden Ring. I really do. I mean, yeah, the combat's good, we but it's so not hard to enough keep going. to keep you entertained while you're exploring. It's too these easy. Wide it fields. is so easy. It's because. Okay, Dark Souls. I mean, Dark Souls combat Three is easy too, but the on... first time through, it wasn't that easy. Dark Souls relies heavily on the environment now it's really easy. to to force you to think about your encounters. But if you're encountering enemies in a wide open field with like nothing uh, to worry about in terms of uh, maneuvering the environment, then you're rarely going to be challenged. That's why the actual areas you get into in Elden Ring feel pretty good. Because it feels like the Dark Souls experience. But, um... Oh, in the open world, right. it's just... It um, doesn't feel very well... Also... Well done. The one thing that bugs me in Elden Ring is a lot of the copy-paste boxes... Uh, boxes. Bosses. <laughs> so, too many boxes around here! And they're all too fam too similar! <laughs> Um, I can't take it. But but you fight the same boss over and over and over through that game. Um, and then the other thing is you were saying that sometimes you enjoy more streamlined games compared to more intricate ones, which can be very true depending on the game. But Marcus and I prefer World of Warcraft Classic over World of Warcraft Retail because it's so much harder and so much more intricate how you do things in comparison to Retail. Yeah, it takes time to actually... Um actually gain anything in classic and that makes the experience that much more rewarding um rather than uh, right I that is exactly how dark souls 2 is from this from the start of dark souls 2 you have four different paths you can choose to go down and either of them work um but it's technically open world as if you can choose your path but it still keeps you going down a line there's an end and a start to each area you know what game has a really good open world? Like, really good. And it's not even technically open world in its own unique sense. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. That's because... It's so good. That's because it's not really open world. It's more like One of my just favorite a games. bunch of really large areas interconnected with like roads and stuff. So one area can look distinct in like a big elven forest. And then you just go down the road and there's a huge like plains biome. And there's then you go down screen. the other road and there's like a Wait. spider forest and stuff. And each time you... Each time you move to a new area, it feels completely different from the last one you were in, and it, it's not in, even in really case, an open world. It's just they're they're really yeah, big. I love Kingdoms Amalur. It, it's it, it's it's one of my favorite games of all time. It's one of my favorite RPGs because you can become so powerful because the game gives you the freedom to do it. Oh, um, how do you type the name of that when game? I was I suppose playing we were around with pretty doing my own YouTube channel. Uh, that's. Kingdoms I, uh, of Amalur, A-M-A-L-U-R, colon, Reckoning. It's a 7th generation What's up, nine open pixels? world How are you RPG, doing today? and it's fantastic.
Very underrated. It should have got... I mean, I understand why it didn't um, get in our, uh, a sequel, but it should have. I just got invaded, oh, by the way. So. Yeah, you should watch the what happened with how it was created. It's the <laughs> first game that was produced by a U.S. state. Yes, the state of Rhode Island paid for that game's production. And it's pretty funny. Hey, pal! Let's do a fight. But anyway, when I was thinking of making my own YouTube channel, I started making a uh, a Kingdoms of Amalur review because I love that game so much. But uh, and it was it was turning out pretty well. I had the trailer done for it and everything. But uh, I just decided that there was no reason for me to continue because I I didn't have anything else after that that I wanted to do on YouTube. So it would have been put on YouTube for no reason. Ow. <laughs> oh yeah, we know. We said hi to him. What? Uh, how the hell did you do that? Him. Oh my god. Got a leg switch. Yeah. Man, keep squeezing that in. So yeah, it's Kingdoms of Amalur. Reckoning. It's a fantastic game. Uh, oh it's yeah, that's where I saw this game from. You were playing the oh, card what? game and you mentioned Dang. it. Well, not bad, card man. Game. Man, he, he was hitting me at the perfect time. He knew somehow Marcus, what, just what when to hit me before my, uh, my hyper armor activated. That was very, uh, very smart of him. Okay, what? Oh yeah, that's where I saw this game from. You guys were playing the car about? game, and you mentioned it. Car game? You're playing the game- Oh! We were playing, uh, Trailmakers, and we were talking about it. Oh! Oh, oh, oh yeah, I yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. remember that, but apparently we were. Did you see that guy? Yeah, no, I, I did make uh, the first like probably two minutes of the video. That guy um, was very good, and uh, it was it was going well. I just didn't see any reason to post it because I wasn't planning on continuing the YouTube channel since uh, since I had nothing I wanted to do with it. Um, I'm not as creative when it comes to that kind of thing as Marcus is. Ow! I'm not even creative though. I just like to make videos. A creative person would have made literally anything as they were growing up. I'm not a creative You know what's person. funny is, uh, uh, Marcus said the other day, because I told him he should try editing in a different way to get videos out faster, and he said, well, I don't know. Dad and I just wait for you to come around and tell us the most efficient way to do something. What? That's what you told me the other day. Oh, you mean like, in the sense that Dad and I have a hard time thinking outside the box? Right. Yeah. Avery actually did help me streamline my editing. Uh, so that was very nice. I'm, st I'm not a pro at this in any sense. Yeah, I told you I'm a busy word. guy. <laughs> Should I computer to make videos? Well, one day. Even though in the last man. Minecraft video, Marcus said I'm not. You're not what? Is it hard to get a hold of a computer where you are or something? Ass hitbox. So annoying. Watch Mojo. Oh, 
I don't remember I what's in these money. chests, so I decided. Broke, I hate asking our mom to buy stuff. Oh, we we know that feeling, my friend. We've both my brother and I have had sufficient um, uh, experience when it comes to being unemployed. Have one, brother. I've been unemployed for a year. Almost. <laughs> On, uh, going on till June. But I, I am working, just not officially. Yeah, he's he's working with uh, with our parents right now, renovating um, their house. They'll pay him like five grand when once it's done. Don't say okay. What? <laughs> Is that a bad thing? <laughs> because I haven't told Victoria or Tyler or Kintia. What's so bad about that? I, well, I just didn't want them to know, that's all. But I doubt they're gonna watch this, so it's fine. Yeah, you're fine. It's not like they'd want a piece of the action or something. No, it's just, I was told not to say, that's all. Oh, I didn't know that. Nice. What was in the first chest? I don't Someone is selling a complete <laughs> flags deck. I wish I knew what card that made. Because, like, those... Oh, you can't afford it anyway. Those cards are useless unless you know what special Dark Moon card they make. Right. You know what it does? What? It, um, or not what it does, what what the value the price is. is for it. What? Yeah. It is eighteen hundred gold. Dang, that's almost Edge Masters. So um, yeah, Dark Souls is supposed to be a game with hard bosses, right? Check out how hard this boss is. Oh yeah, this boss is freaking retarded. The, the, Marcus and I refused to play Dark Souls 3 for a while because it kind of insults the other two games. Yeah, I'm gonna want Dark Moon Card Decay. What's that do? That's from the Plague's deck. It, uh... I'll tell you once this battle's done. Good. Ow. Dude, look at that, man. It's 8 o'clock, and it's not even dark out yet. <laughs> Crazy. Changing the seasons, man, I tell you. Ow! I mean, that doesn't hurt. That's That attack has never hurt. And it doesn't make sense why it doesn't. Clearly a wave of fire. Why do people hate this game? Uh, because this game removed more than it added. Also, um, it's not this one that they hate. I'm not it's talking about you, Dark yo. Souls I'm talking about a... So yeah, uh, I'm talking about a um, trinket from Dark Souls, or not Dark Souls, uh, World of Warcraft. That was literally one of the main um, bosses and of the game. Yeah, Dark Souls that 2, you need to beat to beat the game. Yeah. Dark Souls Two is widely hated um, because it's because different. it's longer and it's a different play style than uh, the first one. And I think if Dark Souls Three came out before Two, Dark Souls Three would be the one that was hated. Uh, because it's so much different than the original. Um, but in my opinion, and Marcus's opinion, Dark Souls 2 is far superior to 3. It is. It definitely is. Uh, that's not to say Dark Souls 3 is a bad game. Dark Souls 3 is still a great game. It's just heavily flawed by our own personal uh, opinions.
For instance, if you get hit, no matter what hits you in this game, you get staggered. In the other game, if you're er, games, if you're wearing armor, your armor can protect you from a hit and will keep you from staggering. Yeah, it's a stat called poise. Each attack in the game had a certain amount of poise damage that dealt, and if that poise damage exceeded your poise value, then you'd get stunned. Otherwise, you would shrug it off and you wouldn't get stunned at all. Like, see all these times he's hitting me and stunning me here? In the other games, if I had sufficient armor, they wouldn't. You're wearing stun heavy me. armor. Yeah, if you were wearing heavy armor in the first game, or, or the second game, you might not be able to roll, but you could shrug off some hits while you traded uh, damage. Yeah. Like in the first game, a one-handed light attack from an ultra greatsword dealt 53 poise damage. So, a uh, common practice in Dark Souls 1 PvP was to get your poise value to at least 53. That would allow you to shrug off a light attack from an ultra great sword, which is a huge, uh, what? Uh, huge advantage against people wielding that weapon because you can literally, literally lock onto them and rotate around them as they attack you, and it won't stun you, so you can go for a backstab. There's a lot of different. And you still not roll with heavy armor. Uh, it depends on your um, vitality stat. If you have enough strength in your vitality stat, then your character will be strong enough to roll with heavy armor. Yeah. See. Uh, but in order to do that, you would have to put stats in a spot instead of um, other spots. So it's it's basically trading damage for the ability to roll. Yeah. See, in the upper left here. Let me move my face cam. In the upper left... Also, in the second game, there's a, uh, a, another stat called uh, Adaptability, which makes it so that even if you can roll, you're, the odds that the enemy is going to hit you is very high unless you put, uh, unless you put points into that stat. Yeah. Uh, so in the upper left here, you can see how um, it says my equi equip load and my maximum equip load. In Dark Souls 3 and 2, as long as you are under 70% of your maximum equip load, you can fast roll. But if you go over, you'll do something called a fat roll, which is uh, this. Oh, wait, that's way too heavy. Uh, which is this. Which obviously is much less effective. Um, so you do need to manage what stuff you have on currently. In the first game, it was even more restrictive in that there were three tiers. The fast roll, the mid roll, and the fat roll. The mid roll is what you would get if you were over 25%. my opinion, two is enough. Huh? Two stages of rolling is enough. Uh, yeah, you're probably right about that. I just got invaded. And also, there's technically three stages of rolling, because if you're over 100% uh, equip load, yeah. then you can't roll or even run. Yeah. It, it is actually universally called the fat roll. That's not a joke. I was just invaded, right? Was I hearing things? Uh, oh, there he is. Hey! Sorry, man, I wanted to, I, I want to fight this guy. I don't know why I put this on. Yeah, so one of the reasons Dark Souls 2 is hated so badly is because it added the stat adaptability. And adaptability, it basically controls how many iframes you get per roll. And iframes means invincible frames, which is how, um, how many frames you're completely invincible while rolling so that you can roll through an attack. Um, so in Dark Souls 2, if you don't up your adaptability, you get very few frames where you're actually invincible while rolling. And the reason this was good is if you were <laughs> playing a class where you wanted to uh, just use a shield instead of rolling, 
you wouldn't have to put any adaptability in, and your rolls might suck, but you can put more points into using your shield. Um, and vice versa, if you're not going to use a shield, then you'll want to put more points into adaptability. And, uh, one thing that's never made sense to me is in 2, you get to, like, level 200 or 300 in that game. Um, in this one, you can get to, like, 90-something before you need to stop if you want to continue PvPing. So, it's not even as close to restrictive with the points as this game is. Oh, what? I should have had you. Bull. I I prefer games where there you we go. can completely customize the character over games where the character is already You didn't think I had enough stamina, silly, but I totally did. That's called an honor duel right there. That's right. when both right, players Marcus. bow and don't heal. What? Read the last thing. You guys prefer games where you can customize the characters' abilities or characters that are already your own thing? I know that what invincibility frames are. Uh, yes. Customize customizability is a huge appeal to our, um, uh, to us when it comes to games. I love to make a character my own in a game. That's huge. Right, bro? I agree. Yeah. Did did you hear what I said? Oh, that it's huge to be able to customize your character. Uh, yeah. Hold on, I got a freaking ad again. <laughs> Thanks for the revenue, pal. Oh yeah, you're a fighting game guy. Good point. Sorry, I was. I always like to preface things in case people don't know. Called covering your bases right there. I hate how long it takes for you to get enough titanite skills to up a boss weapon entirely in this game. It takes so long. I guess at least you don't have to fight any titanite demons. Ow! Jerk. Oh. Hey, bro. Yeah. I'm fishing up some firepin snapper for you. Oh, cool. Yeah, give them to me and I'll uh, make you some potions if you want them. I just got invaded again. Like, wouldn't it be cool if you could customize Gordon Freeman? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Um, both games mute pertains to. Guess what? I've never played any Half Life games. Um. I wouldn't really know what the point of that personally is because you know you go through the whole game in first person so it, it, that reminds me of cyberpunk as far as I'm aware at this point there's no third person option so I have no idea what the point is of customizing your character right if it was online it would make a little more sense yeah um I think I mentioned this before, but I'm actually not a big fan of Half-Life 1. Half-Life 2, though, is fantastic. Oh, baby, please don't kill me. Marcus, I'm being attacked by a level 40 turtle. Oh my uh, god! Uh, a turtle! Hello, Mr. Invader. I think it would be cool if there was some sort of customization in Half-Life, but... But I've never played it, so I don't know. It's it's a way more simple game than you expect. <sighs> it's far more simple than Half-Life 2, that's for sure. Oh, really? I consider Half-Life 2 to be one of the greatest games ever made, but Half-Life 1 is just okay in my eyes. 
It's a bit of a letdown. I don't know why you say game. that. I don't understand it. It's. I've told this story quite a few times. Probably not on stream. I think maybe a little, but... So, I played through Half-Life 2 long before I did Half-Life 1. So, at some point, I, I decided to play Half-Life 1. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go to Black Mesa Research Facility. And I'm going to get to uh, see all the characters that I know from the second game that said... That said they worked alongside Gordon. And, I mean... Dr. Breen was the administrator, but I figured I might get to, you know, hear about uh, hi him a good bit. So I'm like, I'll, I'll get to see Dr. Kleiner and Dr. Breen and meet Barney and, you know, chill out with him or whatever. But there's... L you don't learn a single character's name throughout the entire game. There is almost no story involved at all. It's literally just... Bad things happen, and you try to fix it. <laughs> That's it. I don't know, like uh, a Kuna Matata. Is over its own physics and how the combine completely overlooked the story. Overtook the story to be about them. Uh, the com. To me, the story of Half Life One feels like a prologue to uh, the story of Half Life. Uh, Half Life Two. You know. Like, oh, what? I thought I had an invader. Whatever. Um, the events of Half-Life 1 are why the Combine are there. Oh, hello, some random dude. Hi, some random dude. Hey, could you, hey, could you when you go, when go on, on desk, desk if, if there are any, any future to come connection as well? Greens from Denmark, not native speaker, but stream good. Thank you, friend. I'm just gonna do a little bit of deciphering. Hey, could you, when you go on desk, if there are any future to come? Um, Avery? I don't really know what he means either. Hey, could you, when go on desk, Jeez, there if there are well. any for future to come? Um, yeah, sorry, man. Uh, would you try again? Uh, we can't really understand what you're saying. Yeah. It feels like falling down for me. If you've seen that movie, I have heard of that movie, and I want to see that movie because I've seen clips, and it looks like a great movie. It kind of reminds me of if Postal, um, if the first Postal game. What is wrong with me? Why can I never not understand what you guys are talking about? Ah. There's a movie called Falling Down from the 90s, and it's a very um, intelligent look at um, at how people are forced to go through the day day to day, and how a man decides that he is um, tired of it. In the, in the simplest terms, ask f asking for stream if has. Oof. Inspired by falling down, I assume. It's possible. They're both very similar in theme. Um. I'll tell you what, what some random dude. What, uh. Um, uh what say is your... what you want in chat in your native language, and I'll pop it into Google Translate. And so uh, I'll respond. Yeah. I'll respond with. Me? My language. We're not, we're not trying to be rude. Yours. We're yeah. just trying to understand what you're saying. I, I just want to understand. I don't even know if you, if you're getting what I'm trying to say, but I'm hoping you do. You know how I got to ratchet? How? I swam. I don't want to see you swam there more to ratchet. How many times did you die? Welcome. Not once. Really? That's surprising to me. Uh, yeah, I guess I should start putting stats and strength. Farewell. 
I mean, that Half-Life 1 feels I mean, like falling down because Gordon yet. is just a regular guy suffering through a bad day that progressively gets crazier and worse. Well... It's... Er... Problem, I mean... Gordon isn't really... I don't know if you're here, a uh, some random dude, but thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank you very much for saying what you're trying to say. I wish I could understand. I really do. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and text you by um, putting what I want to say in translator. Um, so I don't want to. Uh, what's the word? Trigger you at all, Feshi? Still, but Gordon isn't really a character. You play through all the games in first person, and he doesn't speak at all. So. He looks cool. That's all you can really say. Um, he looks like an average American, is what you mean. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So he, he looks is like a combination Denmark. of Dale Meyerhofer and Lobos. You know how to speak Chinese, Nine Pixels? That's pretty cool. Dusk. I've heard of Dusk. That's by the makers of Faith, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't know you were still here, Nine Mark. Pixels. Yeah, me neither, but it's great to see you. Language. I don't even know what language is Danish. That's what I thought. Of. Um, I wish that there was a comprehensive list of who was here, but unfortunately there is not. Yeah, that'd be nice. English to Danish. Thanks. So, Fascistos here, I'm here, uh, you're here, but Google still says two people watching. Uh, no, Gordon isn't really a character. I mean, that in world it feels like falling down. I need to look up what falling down is because I've never even heard of it. I know I've said it before, but I don't. I, I'm never on the side of YouTube that has memes. I'm never on the side of YouTube that has games or or movies. I'm purely watching, like, science channels. Like, I'm learning about physics and engines and and other things like that. Electricity. Is that guy answering, bro? One sec, I'm writing out what I want to say. Okay. Now, I hope he's still here. I'm gonna post this. There you go. Okay. Uh, it's me, Avery, nine pixels, and Dutch guy, probably. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I did it! What'd you do? Dude. Marcus. What? The, um, the ratchet boat was filled to the brim with level skull horde. Mm -hmm. And I used the um, the glitch where you you glitch through the boat and then jump onto it while you're inside of it, and so I'm not being killed by the horde in on the boat. I'm just oh. inside the boat. Oh, I've never actually successfully done that. Lucky boy. Oh, I don't have fireballs. Uh, hey, That's look, a bummer. Chief Blupa is a poly, polyglot. What the heck is that? Ow! Okay, I'm out of here. You guys do a lot of damage. Oh. Oh, polyglot. Knowing or using several languages. Oh, yeah. Totally. I, I totally didn't just pop that into Google Translate to say what I needed to say. Um, by the way, Marcus, Dark Moon card decay 
Spells and attacks sometimes leech 40 health from the target and apply a stack of decay. When decay reaches 5 stacks, the target takes 225 to 375 damage. Holy crap! That's really good for you. Yeah, that'll be really good for tanking. I need to get that. Just means I need money. Oh, what? Uh, hey, look, Chief Boom. Uh, Avery, rather than watching Science Doo Doo, you should watch stuff that teaches you lessons about the world, like falling down and who killed Captain Alex. There you go. The science Doo Doo, dude. It's too much Doo Doo. I like Science Doo Doo. It's my favorite thing to watch. Okay, you bastard. Get out of here. Ah! ah. I wouldn't know so much about engines and stuff if I didn't watch it. Engines? You say engines? No, no, no. Engines, yeah. No, don't you throw that, Lloyds, at me. Oh, of course. What's the likelihood that that actually happens? Not great. I killed you. How is hey, this Marcus. You left? What? Bro. What? Uh, the Google Translate worked well. I uh, brought it back into English, and I think it's exactly what you meant to say. Oh so. yeah, what did it say? It's a. Uh, oh, hold on. It's pause up. Okay. Uh, thanks for joining the stream, some random dude. Please write in Danish, and I will translate it into English so I can understand. Yeah, that's what I said. Nice. Good job, Google. Uh, even uh, N-Gynes, like uh, famous crash... Engines, oh. like famous Crash Bandicoot no. character, Engine. <laughs> en yes. Engine. That's why I know so much about Engine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, he probably knows. He probably knows. Never mind. Oh, I, I Engines. Thought, oh. I thought he was making a joke, but um, maybe it's... Er yeah, no, uh... Um, yeah, no, or well, he is making a joke, but yeah. about Crash. Actually, Engine is my favorite character in Crash. Yeah, he's a good character. He, he's, he always has the best boss fights, that's for sure. I am making a joke. Good. Good. I was about to uh, give bro? it a... Yeah? Blood Moon... The Blood Moon is riding, rising in Booty Bay. Oh, yeah, the Blood Moon. So I've heard about this in SOD. It's a special event that opens up PvP between everyone, I think. You might want to look stuff up about it. From huh. what I remember, you don't even have to be but a guess what I got. different faction. I got oh, Spark hey, of hey. Inspiration and Fervor of the Temple of Explorer. Nice. Ow. Can you help me, white guy? What the hell? What? Okay, white guy doesn't want to help, I guess. White guy. Oh. Well, shoot. They're probably friends. I guess so? Yeah, they're friends. Man, I was just going around in circles waiting for white guy to bail me out, but... Okay. Blood Moines Rising... Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Ew. What's a moin? Is that a word that I'm not aware of? That's what he said, moon, not moin. Hmm. <laughs> We're gonna Ow. take a croid on the walk when uh, when you're done. We're gonna go to that little store on the corner. That sounds like a good time. I wanna um, edit my Minecraft house tonight. I promised uh, last episode that I would make it look better. So oh really? Do that. Yeah. I I might employ your assistance okay. in doing that too. Hmm. 
Okay. Apparently, Fascisto liked it, so it makes me feel good about my building skills. Yeah, you're a regular. Um, what are they called? I don't watch it. <laughs> Hermit. Hermit. Yes. Uh, hey, Nine Pixels. Have you seen any of the Minecraft videos? If you're still here. I wonder if he has or not. It looks excellent. Turn them on. Stop hitting me, jerk. That's what she said. Ha! Oh my gosh. <coughs> that L1 didn't have so much wind up. <laughs> uh, I am still here. Efficient. Yay! Did you hear what I said, bro? I don't know. You said, stop hitting me, jerk. I said, that's what she said. <laughs> okay. You might want to calm down and bet a little bit there. Um, so, is that yes to you have seen the Minecraft videos? If, you, if you're not into Minecraft, totally understand. <laughs> that sounds like you said hermit totally craft, he would be don't the non kid friendly hermit. Yeah. <laughs> totally don't understand, is that what it sounded like? <laughs> yeah. Totally, totally don't, don't understand. understand. You should be watching that shit. <laughs> I hadn't watched all of it yet. Oh, okay. Cool. It's just us screwing around. You keep an eye out on the newest episode because um, there's some spooky stuff happening in the background that I added in to fit with the overall atmosphere of the video. People are going to be like, did you see his video? Did you see it? Dude, I don't think Dude. you noticed, but Harold Brian was Harold there. Brian was in Minecraft 1.0. They actually just removed him at one point. He's still, he's still there. Dude, they found him. There's actual footage oh my now. Oh god. Look, if you go to this part- OH SHOOT! Oh, what? You can escape the Mimic? I just rolled out of the Mimic. That- that version of the Mimic you can. That's weird. Okay, anyway. Yeah, if you go to this one portion of the video and look at- th there's Because that one actually has to hit you, you can order. see him. I'll be right back. Uh, Enderman was my favorite singing character in the show. I can't believe he was fired. Oh, yeah. Chest monster. Yep. It's a mimic. Mercoid. They disguise themselves what? as treasure chests to lure in. Come here. Uh, ignorant adventurers. And I almost got fooled, except I got out at the last second. Yay, I can upgrade my sword now. We're gonna be so much more powerful. So much more powerful. Oh, MG Herobrine was real in Minecraft 1.0. He exists, guys. Huggy Wuggy in Minecraft was real. Oh. Yep. It's on Jeep Lupa's video, Five Nights in Minecraft. Yikes. I don't even think <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's is a uh, name that attracts kids' attention anymore. I could be wrong, but I don't know. How do I not- oh, I do have a few. Not stream. Huh? What, bro? No, it's dream that attracts their attention now. Oh, yeah. Rockstar Freddy oh. sighting in Minecraft. <laughs> Don't you have like a uh, charcoal pine resin? Uh, nah. 
I used all of them when I was fighting the dancer. Ow. Oops. Went too far. It's not even dream lol. Dream lol is so 2019. Oh. You're probably right about that. I used to rely on Pewds to keep up with the um the internet yeah, news at um, the time, but he's uh, pretty dang retired at this point. He's got a kid. I'm happy for him. That's that's retarded? the dream right there. Yeah, I'd say. He's always been retarded though. <laughs> Just die no, just actually, I, um, I never watched Pootie Pie except for if Marcus is watching him, and uh, uh, he stopped making videos that I thought think are worth watching a long, long time ago. Uh -huh. They're still quite entertaining for me personally. Floppy playtime in Minecraft Skibbity Craft. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I said ploppy instead of poppy. I know, I heard that. That's really <laughs> ploppy playtime. You're playing with shit. Ploppy playtime. Yikes. <laughs> Piss and plops. Hey, you! Knife! Marcus, you got 10 views on your new coin Minecraft video. Oh, oh, 10 views, you say? Oh, my lord. And, there's this guy named Fascisto6549 oh! that left a comment. Owie! Nice. Can you not? I just want to live. Are you gonna make me DB, dick? Wonder who he is. Some weirdo, probably. Uh, the you can put an enchanting table on the nether like portal in the. I hate that I hear myself twice and I'm so delayed. <laughs> um. You can put the enchanting table and the nether portal in the would-be XP farm room. Also, please, uh, put pressure plates on the front door. <laughs> well, but then creepers are gonna get in, Ah, uh, here's the problem. Here's the- No, he I'm doesn't mean outside. Do oh. Here's the problem with putting them in the front door. Doors are so broken in 1.0, if you place a pressure plate in front of it, if there's not a switch on the outside, they don't work right. Mm -hmm. They they are they stay open until you step on the pressure plate and then they close. They just don't work right. It's because of what we talked about in the video before this one, which is that the doors, when they open and shut, cause a tick of redstone, which causes the door next to it to open or shut, which can then in turn, if the game is uh, wants to, cause the same door to open or shut, and it's, uh, quite annoying. And, um, I could just make it one door to save myself the hassle, but, uh, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't look as nice. <laughs> uh, also, is this a reference to No Maiden's meme? Uh, I don't know what Oh, that is. it's, uh, it's the Megamind meme. Um, but I don't know what moment he means. It was when you were trying to get a pork chop. Oh! Nope, I, I know what you mean now, but no. Red tear stone ring! Woo. And then the other one is, what are you calling a demonic cube? Also, oh. the Zelda King is called King Harkinian. Uh, that's when I showed you the picture of oh the diamond. Yeah, no, I I sent block. demonic because it's a diamond cube. So, diamondic. I, I just was being stupid. Yeah. 
He's used to my stupidness, so he knew what I meant. Yeah. I'm gonna unlock this door here and get the mimic down there, and then I'm gonna go back to Firelink and upgrade my sword. Yay. Trio ahead. Ow. Uh, he kills a pig and says, What? No meat? Like, what? No maidens? Mega Mind. Yeah. Burn it! Oh. Yeah, see, I didn't know that. Man, but boy, shit. Oh, it it's sure it is. I watched Shafrila's uh, video about Mega Mind 2, and I was blown away at just how bad it is. Like, that was made by a bunch of old people that were just desperate one day to find something from the past to exploit people's nostalgia for. And it's sad because it's so obvious and terrible. I know I See, haven't Fashisto, seen the movie. If you want to know oh about you know like God. Ionic Wind and <laughs> and other scientific based uh, knowledge, I'll probably know about it. But when it comes to movies and memes, I'm, even when I was little, I knew nothing. About Combode. Like I, when I have a question, I ask it. Like, uh, like how cancer is formed and stuff like that. And then I'll research it for a while, and then I know. I'm just ah. not very into watching things for entertainment as much as uh, watching things to learn. Wait, does the dual charm work? Nah, oh well. But you probably wouldn't like it, so I won't mention it. Oh, Nile Red's awesome. I watch Nile Red all the time. What's Nile Red? Oh, Red is the chemist. Oh, yeah. You know who, like, makes, uh... You might know him from, like, making rape out of, uh, acetone and stuff like that. Making what? Grape flavoring. Grape flavoring? I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, like... Like, the... Like, artificial grape flavor? The uh. chemical compound of... Uh, artificial grape is very close to a compound found in acetone. Hmm, neat. <laughs> uh, oh, you see. got censored again. Isn't he? Is he that guy that's super boring on Message video? Redacted. And has the wife what? that's super boring. Who's that? The one that you always say. Oh no, that's um. The world. Uh. I built a thing or something like that. I did a thing. <laughs> I did a thing. <laughs> uh. Nope. How rare. No, I I did a thing as an Australian YouTuber. I also watch him. Um. I'm trying to remember what his name is. What is this again? Oh, Yorm. Right. I don't need none of that shit. I watch him all the time. He is a very, very... Like, he speaks very, very boring and everything. Yeah. And his wife is very boring. But he is a smart-ass guy. We're, I don't think we're talking about someone you guys uh, are aware see. of right now. But Stuff okay. made here. Uh. Okay, what damage we got? See, I did a thing in Stuff made here. That's kind of close, right? Twelve. Oh my god. Hey, look at that reference that I and Avery know, but Chief doesn't. How rare. Yeah. <laughs> I should be able to kick the I turn crap my car into out of the a lawnmower type of thing. 
<sighs> Incoming um, best boss in the base game. Have you ever that's watched? Not uh, I made it or er, stuff made here. It's really good. Am I right, bro? Like he's just like Styro Pyro. He's impressively smart. Like you just can't believe how smart they are. I uh, need to grab this. So the boss I'm about to fight is a very Oh uh, yeah, they're definitely they're definitely trying to keep your attention during it. It's not like it's a lecture or something like that. The boss I'm about to fight is a very like but side I do watch lectures boss and stuff that too. isn't uh, interesting. big on the game's story or anything, but it is in my opinion the best boss in the base game. That isn't optional because other uh It is. It's definitely the best boss but... in the base game. Yeah, the actual best boss in the base game is the Nameless King. Um, but he's optional. It's because he's the hardest one. So many boss fights in this game are just complete gimmicks. I'll be right back, I'm getting a call. And it takes them down from the usual pedestal that Dark Souls bosses get to stand on. Look at these people summoning for this. Oh, no. No, I'm good. Here we go! This is a good boss! The Dragon Slayer Armor! I wish I had a shield, because I really like to fight with a shield against this guy. Man, we do some good damage right now. <laughs> Don't you dare spirit bomb me, you stupid trees. Get over here. So I have a smaller chance of getting spirit bomb. There we go. And just like that, it's over. How sad. Oh, I I, like, I turned my microwave into a plasma popper. I turned my smartphone into a dumb phone. I. Oh, yeah. That's not very sciencey, is it? That's just very uh, right. pandering e, so to speak. Well, I got more souls now. I guess I better go back to Firelink. Right. How'd you like well, the best boss in the base there. game? It's not optional. It was pretty cool, but it went real fast. Flat Earther with a cartoon p profile picture commenting on every video. He's so annoying. El Nazi. What? <laughs> I didn't see that before. Uh, he didn't look all that cool besides the electric axe. A whole lot of gray in his design. That's a big problem that I have with this game. It lacks a lot of color. When the other games had so much of it. Here, like this one. One moment, I'm gonna show you because I just want to. Smelter Demon. This is um, an optional boss that you can boss? face in Dark Souls 2 called the Smelter Demon. He's badass. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Solo? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. There. Now that's 
a cool design because the use of color really juxtaposes well with the um, cast iron black of the possessed armor that is the demon itself. It's very cool. And Dark Souls 3 has a huge problem with de being yep. too gray. I said gray. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, ah. now that we're doing that detour. Every time I go to sell a boss soul, I need to be like, okay, are there any items I can make with this soul that I would want before I sell it? Nope. Then go sell it. Oh, and then, am I coming over tomorrow, or what's the plan? Oh, I my weapon is fully upgraded. Never mind. Even that fire thing is very gray, unless I don't didn't see his armor right. Uh, it was more, it was very cast iron, not not really gray. The game is like Quake; it's one color everywhere. <laughs> I'd like to play Quake sometime. That gameplay looks really fun. I guess we'll just do more health. Okay. Um, and then. And strength. Yeah. We're just doing a straight oh, okay. quality build, baby. Quake 1. I've heard that Quake <laughs> 2 is the black okay. sheep of the <laughs> franchise um, or something. Or maybe it was Quake it, 3. Uh, how about this? Quake 1 is so just brown. Right. Right, and you know what? I'll even help you move. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quake 2 is black sheep, definitely. Oh. Uh, why is that exactly? Because I watch a YouTuber named G Man Lives, and he's uh, a bit of an old school FPS gamer. You know, and he talks about how Quake 2 is underappreciated. And stuff. Darn it! What the hell? Stop spamming! I don't usually do that. Oh! There. Embarrassing. Oh! Not fast enough. I'm back. What is your smelter demon? Oh, because. Uh, Fashisto said Dragon Slayer armor is very gray, and I was like, "Yes, that's a problem Dark Souls 3 has." So I showed him a, a boss from Dark Souls 2. Um, Quake 2 wasn't supposed to be a Quake game at yes, all. Dark they just Souls 3 is the very different game monotone. Being into a Quake game, hmm. that does sound like it would make it the black sheep. Uh, pink sheep, that'd be a bad omen. Oh, yes. Hmm. Uh, I turned my microwave into a plasma popper. I turned my smartphone into a dumb phone. I turned my tiny hat neighbor into a lampshade. <laughs> I have never watched any of those what videos. What the heck is a sure. plasma popper? No, bro. Uh, bro, it's like five minutes to nine. Oh, I know, but can uh, can I just play until I beat the Twin Princes? Shouldn't take too long to get there. Um, my only problem is that I wanted to take Croyd on a walk. Yeah, that place is closed at eleven. We should be fine. Are you sure it's eleven? You can look it up right now. Just look up uh, convenience stores near me, and you can see it. Yeah. Huh? Plasma poppers actually exist. It's a thing that pops plasma fireballs. It's a real thing. Wow. Uh... 
Yeah, One. it's a it's a um, plastic tube that is filled with gas, and then it's lit up, and a fireball travels down the tube until it gets enough oxygen to uh, to basically ignite and turn into a big fireball. Wow, neat! You nearly lost me halfway through that. They're just loud. I, They're cool looking. I've always wanted to make one. Until I heard big fireball, I could feel my attention span slowly decrease. Not saying you're boring, I just don't have the attention for that sort of stuff. <laughs> I just talked to Dad, they found a property that they really, really like. Oh yeah, that's cool. What's it like? Yep. It's got 40 acres. Whoa! Uh, it's up on a hill, they said they have a 360 degree view of the forest, uh, the mountains, and a river. Holy crap, 40 acres. What are they gonna do with all that space? My lord. Well, it's uh, it's 40 acres, but uh, but half of it can be split, so um, they could sell the other half if they wanted to. Neat. Quake 2 has a BFG. It has an SMG, a pistol that has zero love crafting elements. It doesn't have bunny hopping. Ooh, that's ooh. Man, if I went from a game with bunny hopping to a game without bunny hopping as its sequel, I would feel a little. Marcus loves bunny hopping. A little upset because every single game I've played that has bunny hopping I'm all over that so much even thief has a little bit of bunny hopping it's kind of hard capped in a funny way though I never I guess I never talked about this before Marcus really loves it uh, open open fortress had bunny hopping yeah Thief has a really funny way to keep you from bunny hopping too much. In the sense that the game allows you to do it, but the more you do it in sequence, your view, your camera view starts to like slowly climb up in it's the loud. air. And um, until at one point you get, uh, you take a large hit of damage and are forced to stop. Go away, hands. Do we ever even learn what it's those not hands even brown, do? though? What does that mean? Isn't even brown. Oh, the f he was talking about how Quake One has a color palette which consists of just brown. So oh. it's not like the first game. Yeah, I should get to the Twin Princes pretty dang quick at this rate. Ugh. I think I might uh, take off. I'm getting tired of sitting here. Take off? What do you mean? Where are you going? Just like, I need to get up for a little bit. I'm just getting tired of sitting. All right, I haven't good. been playing anything for a while because uh, um, I needed to send some money and you know, it takes an hour. Yeah. Twin Princes are right down the road from here. I remember that. Yeah, but PC. you're still far ways from them. No, I'm not. What are you talking about? Remember after this room, it's literally a straight shot. Still pretty far. You still haven't gotten the second shortcut. Second shortcut? Right, but aren't you going to the rafters? No, there's no reason to go on those rafters. There really isn't. Hey, you guys. Well, there's a reason to go up there, though. Eh. I feel like I almost hit one of them. Uh, not, oh, not that I'm aware of. If you want to see a really, really smart YouTuber what? talk about, uh, he's a chemist and a uh, electrical engineer. 
Uh, you should watch Styro Pyro. Gotcha. He's like, Ha-ha! His, his brain is just amazing to me that he can understand the things he's talking about. Does he set styrofoam on fire? On fire, bro. Uh oh, is someone after me from behind? Yes. Damn it. What? Did he set styrofoam on fire? What did you say? I can't hear you. I don't know why that is. Does he set styrofoam on say fire? It again. Oh. No, he. His first video. Uh, he wanted to make was about making thermite with styrofoam and gasoline, and that's why he called himself Styro Pyro. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a fast Harry. Holy crap! Found a single most ah. well-made YouTube poop ever. I was watching it before stream. Oh, I love YouTube poops, dude. I haven't seen a YouTube poop in like so many years. <sighs> what was it about? Okay, daughter of Crystal Crimehild, you're so. Why did they program program her like that? Let's give her a parrying dagger, but no weapon to repost with. I don't understand. That's so funny. I I need to go into the Discord. Why? To look at it, I'm sure. Oh, let me pull it up here. Marcus, what is the icon for Chief Chief's Chill House? Oh, if you look at it cl close, it's um, it's Scout's uh, Home Runner's Hobby Taunt, just kind of highlighted in a cool way. Yeah, okay, now I'm gonna like to me. do the special Estus uh, shard skip on the roof to the left. Okay, I'm in. I'm headed straight I'm for the I'm in boss. his Discord, but I don't see anything. I think he was. I think he said you need to go so I can send you send stuff for you to see there. <laughs> Avery doesn't want, like being part of the Discord. Uh, just... Yeah, just post in like the general or whatever. Now, if it's a meme, it'll go in memes. Oh, that YouTube poop king of speeches? The king is speechless, I mean. King of speeches. <laughs> Snoopert. Holy shit, that's long! How long? Oh wow, that was a pretty good edit. It's 20 minutes long. Oh wow. That's a long time for a YouTube poop. YouTube poops feel like they go on forever because of how fast Holy editing shit. is. I tell you what, the guy put some serious effort into this. The last time I laughed hysterically at a stupid YouTube video was... I, sl I slammed my penis in the car door. I slammed my I penis laughed in the my car ass door. off so hard at work when I saw that for the first time. It's real. It's a good thing uh, I was. Marcus and I will watch it here in a little outside while. Outside taking out the garbage because I would have caused some disruption. Yeah, Marcus's main thing that, like a couple of months ago, he was so into. Steam hams. <laughs> Steam hams was pretty damn good too. What did what just died? Oh right, the puss of man dragon. They always die when you go in here. All right, here comes the second to last boss of the game. Hey, Lorian. Ow! <laughs> Look at this. This game is so short you can finish it in two streams, and he hasn't even been focusing on it. I know, I haven't even been focusing very much. 
Let me, I'm gonna Google what the average time to beat what? Dark Souls 3 is. Yeah, I think how long to beat.com is uh, wrong. Why? According to I hear you now, Come you on. faded out. So if you just if you told us Or wait, maybe it isn't. Okay, I'm skipping this cutscene. Did you hear what I said or not? No nope. paused up. The moment you began to start talking about it, you faded out. Okay, yeah, the stream paused Ow. up for some reason. Anyway, according to how long does it take to beat.com? It says, if you focus on the main oh, objectives of Dark Souls furniture. 3, it should take you about 39 hours. Wow. He's stuck on the furniture. Um, I see that. Dude, does Dark Souls 3 sound like a 39-hour game? No. Do vertical slashes only. I'm still going to break. Wait, can I just... Ah, oh, damn it. Because... Nope. My sword would make a shockwave and break all of the furniture around it. Oh well. Dude, this game is, like, at the very most, a 12 hour long game. That's, I don't know, man, that's pushing it. That's pushing it quite a bit. Ooh, what? How did I do that that's wrong? That's why I said, at the very most. I guess. I mean, if you and I were to focus on this, we could beat it in four hours, but, like... Something like that. It's not that... long. I was out of stand, I didn't realize. Oh, um... I was just saying that HowToBeat.com um, said that uh, Dark Souls 3 is 39 hours long. If you focus on the main objectives, which is totally 100% wrong. Marcus and I could beat it in four hours without trying too hard. And, like, if you were having issues with the bosses and stuff like that, at most it should take you 12 hours. Yeah. That's much more accurate. And that's, that's saying, like, three times longer than what it should take you to beat the game. Ow. Mark is careful, his boss is really, really hard. It's actually quite... It's actually not easy. I'll, I'll give this boss that. It's not super difficult, but I sure wouldn't call it easy. Why did Lothric lose his legs again? Or Lorien, I mean. Uh, didn't he lose them when he fought the Demon Prince? Ow! Ooh, that was close. Yeah. Heal up. There you go. There we go! There's only one boss left in the game. Uh, and there's no enemies in between. I don't even have Discord on my phone. And I would have to check Discord on my computer, and almost 100% of the things that I post in the Discord don't don't uh, interest me enough to uh, to actually click on. Like I'm I'm scrolling up through it right now. Like zero of the things I see I would click on normally. Hey, bro, do you think I could one shot this old? Like singer? I have no idea what what that is that nine pixels posted. It's some kind of yellow little guy. Um, could you beat the Soul Cinder? In one try? Bro, I would imagine so, but we need to get going. Okay, you got it. Alright, we'll finish the game next time. There's literally not a single enemy in between us and beating the game right now. Because there are no enemies in the final area. You just go straight to the boss. But we'll do that next time. Ashen one. Oh, I'm gonna buy this key. Really, you only you don't see anything above that? I see a lot of things, but 
I'm in the Discord. I'm even a moderator of the Discord. Ashen it's just that I just hey, you're a Discord don't mod. participate at all. Like, I'm part of it. I just don't participate. Well, Avery's a Discord mod. <laughs> Among Us. Nine pixels posted that just just for my sake. I haven't even seen anything until yeah. Shut her down, boy. Yes, sir. <sighs> I want to do something. I'm thinking a sugar-free NOS is in my future. Yeah. I'm. I don't know what it is about NOS. You looking for a seat at the Tree of Giants? Flavor. Uh, no. I wanted to real quick grab what's up here. Seat of the Tree of Giants, bro. Yeah, I, I could. I suppose. Real quick before I forget. <coughs> nice coughs, bro. Uh, just use captions to understand the sentence mixing. <laughs> Is it like a TF2 YouTube poop? Hey, Patches. No, it's uh, Legend of Zelda. Um, that really, really bad one. Oh, yay! A classic Zelda CDI one. Awesome. Yep. Give me. There we go. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh. I thought you were going to fall. Nope, I'm um, too good. Why did you come over here? I just wanted to do this before I forget. Alright. Cool. Do Yay. what? Hey, look. Eight hours in, and we've, we're have we about to beat the game. But I was, like, taking my sweet time the whole time. So, I'd say I could do this in in six hours yeah he easily. did pvp if for i no hurried reason, my he ass off i could probably do he four. did bathroom breaks he left it sitting i could probably do four if i really hurried also i took a long time fighting the dancer at the beginning remember that oh yeah you took like two or probably two hours doing that something like that all right that's it yay Next time thank we play... Thank you, 9pixels. Thank you, Fascisto. Thank you, uh, Random Stranger. Mm -hmm. Next time we play, we're going to beat the game. And we're going to open up a whole bunch of areas for online play. So that we can PvP a good bit. And it'll be fun. Um, and that involves doing some DLC stuff. So that'll be cool. And then... We'll see where we go Look. on the, the stream that time after that so we'll see when we play killer seven we'll <laughs> see oh shoot ah all right you guys have a good night thank you fascisto our marcus has something else going on oh uh, yeah that's right <laughs> i didn't want the the london symphony to come after me again thank you for the stream my friend it was good having you. Always nice having someone talk to you. You too, Nine Pixels. Good night. Have Thank a good, you for being good here. Good rest of your night. Good rest of your week. We'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you, some random dude. If you're still here, I don't know. Probably not. I'm Nine Pixels. It was nice to have you lurking. You. I'll see you later. Yeah. Talk to you later, friends. Keep an eye out for more Minecraft episodes. Bye.